Hello, 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 hello. Good to see you all here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. How y'all doing? Welcome. Well, that's good to hear. People saying they're good. Excellent. Well, happy uh, Monday to you all. Welcome back to the Big O Strim. Good to see you all here. Good to see you all here. Uh, we're going to do some uh, multiplayer tonight. Shrike has gotten the game, and he came back. Some of you were actually asking about Shrike, and uh, you were wondering if he was going to be in. I think he tried to join us as the game was coming out. I think he was downloading it, didn't get enough time, had to go hang out with family until, like, uh, you know, the weekend for Thanksgiving, and then uh, now we're back for, for more. So, uh, you know, Harry and everyone else joined me throughout the week because they were on vacation. They took time off, and so now in the PM, uh, pretty much like Jerry, Alex, and Shrike will probably be the only ones to join me. Now, I think what we'll do is I, I'm really liking our dairy farm that we were doing earlier today, so we're probably... Me and Shrike alone could probably manage some of the tasks on both farms. The, the dairy farm and then the multiplayer farm that we were doing too. Uh, the other farm that we have, there's not there's not too much to do. Uh, the only time that there's really big stuff going on is like in the big farm now is when we're planting or harvesting. And so anytime in between, we can have a smaller, more intimate, a little, little more cozy. We need like a cozy emote. I have no idea what we could do for a cozy emote. We'd need like a little, little, little blanket or something like that, a little cozy. Bum, bum, bum. Well, anyway, good to see you all back. Thanks, guys, for smash and join and becoming members. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the link for that in the chat. You guys can become members right now. Jump on the Discord for uh, all the extra perks and such of joining the Discord, giveaways and such, and also the regular perks of a member, too. So, welcome. Uh, we'll get started in a couple of couple of minutes, and then I just got to change some of that stuff. I was out making co 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 coffee, coffee, coffee. All right, let's see. Um, all right, so we got to do that. Cool. I've, uh, by the way, I've noticed uh, earlier today, I see a lot more. So it looks like yet another Twitch streamer has come over to YouTube. Uh, this time now it's uh, Dr. Lupo, I believe. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Ludwig. Ludwig is now over. And it's like, wow, YouTube is cutting some really fat checks to just try to destroy Twitch. They're uh, going for the very top. And I think, I suspect, that's why... The whole Dr. Disrespect thing went down, too. Dr. Disrespect was uh, probably negotiating with YouTube, and when he probably went back to Twitch to negotiate for a higher amount, they just kicked him right out, which destroyed his negotiating leverage between YouTube and Twitch, so he had no other choice but to go to YouTube. So everyone since then, Dr. Lupo, uh, Tim the Tatman, um, and now um, Dr. Uh, Ludwig and Dr and Dr. Lupo, who was there previously. Oh boy. They're they're cutting deep. So YouTube's cutting some fat checks, not for any sort of quality or anything like that, but just to try to hurt Twitch. However, this does mean that with less people uh, watching the bigger streamers on Twitch, they're going to disperse and go to other places. So hopefully that means smaller people get a chance to grow on Twitch too. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I never comment on those things. I usually see, like, bigger YouTube streamers commenting on that just for, like, the, uh, I don't know, to get their own traction on it. At least I suspect. I, I don't know. That's a whole different world. Okay, let's go ahead and fire that up. All right, should be good. If you guys want to become a member, there's your link in the chat, and uh, we'll begin. Actually, did the game update? I want to see if there's a new update for Farm Sim. Nope, looks like it's still the same version. Mm. You're a big fan? Well, thank you for being a big fan. I appreciate that. Alright, so I think what I want to do first is... I want to go inspect a little bit of our previous farm, and then we're going to go over to the dairy farm. So we'll start in the dairy farm, maybe in like a half hour or so. I just want to take a look at our old farm and see if anything needs to be done. And then we'll jump over to the dairy farm, which is in uh, Erlengrat, and then we'll do... Uh, Elm Creek for a little bit, maybe like a 45 minutes or so. We'll see. Let's see.
There we go. Hi, Shrike. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. How about you? Good. So what I'd like to do, Shrike, is since it's just you and me, there's a few things on our old farm that I'd like to do and just take a look around and then jump over to the new farm that I worked on last night and this morning. It's a dairy farm in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So I think for this Elm Creek map, whenever we're doing like big O planting or big O harvesting, that's when like it's all hands on deck. But for the smaller operations, like, you know, in between things like, you know, loading things onto pallets and making sales of stuff, I think we can we can continue to do that. Anyway, the uh, password, the game for, or the name for both of the games will be Raptors Farm, and then you should be able to just use your name as the password with a capital first letter. Okay. Okay, then. Uh, let's see, did you get your last comment on the last video? Uh, I haven't uh, checked comments uh, since my last stream. I went to go grab something to eat and do some other... Uh, I'll be honest, I put stuff <laughs> in the dishwasher and was trying to tidy up a little bit, so... Bum, bum. Ah, what's up, Allie the... Ally the Pretty Gator, how you doing? All right, we'll see if uh, Shrike can get in here. Now, I remember we were saving money. We were gonna, we were gonna try to sell stuff next month in March. We were gonna try to sell all of our honey, which we've been saving for the whole summer. Ooh, I'm getting like low frame rate here. I guess it's just kind of loading in some assets still. I uh, changed my um, graphic setting a little bit and turned some things up, and then I turned it back down again. But I don't. I'd, I'd prefer like zero drop frames rather than graphics because the game already looks beautiful no matter what level you're playing it on. So, um, Doesn't seem to be showing up. yeah, it might take a minute. And I heard their servers are being weird again. So sometimes after I join a game, it it might take a little uh, moment or two. So just check every like thirty seconds or so. Sometimes it takes a moment. Well, right, let's take a look around the farm. So I think the only thing we were going to do is we were going to wait a month. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Train off in uh -huh. the distance. So I think we were going to sell uh, some of the um, honey in March. And we were making olive and canola oil here. So olive oil will take until June. And canola oil will take until December. So we got to wait a long time on that. Hmm. How am I doing today? I am good. Welcome back. Did you get in? Did it work? Did you find it? I'm I'm trying. It can be a little weird actually. We've had some trouble with it. So if it's being weird, uh it's it's doing it's working correctly. <laughs> All right, I think we're good here on everything we needed to do. I think the only other thing is me and the boys need to defeat the chickens, so I'm going to go check out the chicken coop real quick. We might have to buy some food for the chickens because we don't have uh, enough. You're playing single player on Farming Sim 22, feeding cows? Me too, man. I was doing that earlier today. Oh, eggs are here. I'd but just like to prove no my food. loyalty to you right now. The only reason I got this password correct is because I watched the live streams and you had your caps lock on, so it was just lowercase. Really? It's off again. Oh, it must do something when you get into that menu. Oh well. Are you on your what are you on your dad's computer? Me? Yeah. No. Your name in the game is M Dart. Little little M Dart. <laughs> I guess that's like the that's your computer's uh, I guess name. That's my, my, my Microsoft. Yeah. You can change that when you go into uh, the multiplayer settings. I think there's a thing where it'll say like online name, and then the upper right corner you can just change it. So you can do it between games. All right. Well, let's see if you're here. Did you make your wardrobe and stuff? I'm doing that now. Little little M Dart is here. Change yeah. name. Yeah. Chat's <laughs> making funny now. <laughs> little M Dart. <laughs> Oh boy. Like... Alright, here we go. The store is better than in Farming Sim 19. Uh, I certainly like the design of this map a lot more. And the winter in the game is really... They did a really good job of making things look nice. Although completely unplayable because the snow comes in through the top of the barn. So li literally unplayable. 
You'd think they would have had that fixed. Oh my god. It's minor. Wait, do we look the same? Probably. Uh, yeah, most likely. All right. If you want to change your character, by the way, you can press uh, like P for the buy menu and then go to wardrobe. Make sure you join the farm too, by the way, so you can like get in vehicles and stuff. And then when you join the farm, I'll make you a farm manager. Yeah. Cool. So then you should be able to like sell stuff and whatnot. But all right, so I think we're just gonna have to do a minor job of just like going to the month of March and uh, trying to offload honey. Though I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to feed the chickens. It might be a good idea, but we got to do it every month. So we we may as well do it. Let's uh, we may as well do it. Let's grab the pickup strike. Yes. Go ahead and grab this red pickup and uh, right. drive it to the uh, where the shop is on the map. You'll be able to find it. It'll be a good little tutorial for you. Have you played yet at all? This is your Not first time here, but I, okay. I plowed a field or two last night. So drive to the shop. I'm gonna buy some uh, uh, pallets of chicken feed, and then we're gonna feed the chickens. Okay. And then uh, you drive there, and then we're gonna need a tractor with a telehandler to come out. So I'm gonna drive that out there too. What icon is the shop? A uh, little shopping basket. It's kind of in the middle of the map, towards the right side. You thought farmers stopped working during the winter? Oh no. There's still plenty to do. Livestock to take care of. You can do plowing and a few other things, cultivating. I'll show you where it is if you want to follow me. Oh, okay. Oh, you could have told me there was a trailer on this truck. Ah, uh, yes. We need that. Oh, you got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of took off without recognizing. Oops, are you playing with a mouse and keyboard? Yeah, let me get my oh, controller. Oh, boy. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Are there a different section on the Discord? I never see giveaways. It's usually in the general chat. Sometimes we do giveaways in the uh, member section, but usually the general chat for everybody. Here we go. All right, cool. Yeah, rookie M Dart. I'm a veteran, all right. I'm not a rookie. We'll see about that. Oh, you only have 12,000 hours between all the farm sims? Step up. Alright, is it handling like this because it's icy outside? Um, no. Okay, I just well, took it driving. Well, actually, the, the game now implements, like, weight and stuff. So when you load a trailer and whatnot, it'll act differently. So a tipper uh -huh. trailer that's loaded full of grain will act a little differently. It, it's harder to tell with the tractors, but the truck, you can definitely feel it. Oh, Alp Alpine snow plowing. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I haven't. We haven't really done snow plowing before in the game, but it does have to kind of snow, and it is snowing now. Uh, but you can actually buy like a road salt and stuff, and actually take care of your property that way. What's my hours in the game? In this game, oh uh, boy, all the streams combined, I must have well over like 250, 300 hours now. It's been it's been a lot. It's a lot. All right, Shrike, if you want to park out uh, just behind me, just so you don't occupy, like, the spawn area for the items. And then we're going to buy uh, two, th two things to chicken feed for the, um, for the truck bed and two for the trailer. And we'll see how you work with a telehandler. You want to you you work the, uh, the, the front loader on the tractor? Oh, well, of course. Hey, man, brother. All right, let's get some animal feed. Um, oh, a nice thing too, Shrike. I don't know if you saw is They have things in packs now, so it's a lot easier to find. So like if you're looking for something specific, you don't have to dig as much. It's a little better. Yeah, the shop did perfect. look real nice. I should buy three more. Okay. All right, Shrike, so go ahead and uh, grab the tractor and start loading these bad boys onto it. Onto the uh, truck. Actually, you could probably load... You could probably load one into the back of the truck, two into the back of the trailer, and then just keep one on your forks and we'll drive back together. I'll drive over here and let's see what you can do. 
You want me to carry one of my forks? Is that what you said? I'm sorry. Yeah, lo load load three of them. Two into the trailer, one into my pickup truck, and then one into and then you can keep one on your forks, and we'll drive back together. Right. Now I'll show you where the chickens are. Uh, little granola rolla is back. It's been a long time, man. Did it we has. play much of Farming Sim Seven? Yeah, we probably we probably played a little bit of Nineteen together. Seventeen, we did a lot though. A lot so, of seventeen, not much nineteen. Seventeen was an incredible I mean, amount. Like four, thirteen was okay, fifteen was like even better. Seventeen was insanity. Nineteen, I was just kind of starting to get bored with it. Is there a setting to where the wheel automatically goes back after I turn it? Uh, yes, but I, I forget that's, what that's called. Me too. I think it's called auto, or it's like easy drive mode or something. Do you not want it to center out when you're done? I want it to. It's not right now. That's why it's messing me up. Uh, let's see. I think it'll be second to the last thing at the bottom, I think. Um, or actually, maybe it's under... Let's see. It might be under this th option. Hmm. Oh, uh... It might be direct. Let's see. Defines if a vehicle direction changes automatically toggle manually by pressing a button. Uh, well, anyway, if you go to if you go to the very bottom uh, of the option menu, click the gear, and go to the mm -hmm. bottom under uh, where it says input controls. It's not at the mm -hmm. very bottom, but um, maybe it's under uh, steering back speed. It's Adjust like 50%. the. Adjust the speed in which the wheel... Mine's 50. Yeah, that's what mine's at as well. Maybe your controller's got a dead zone? I, no, it is even with the uh, keyboard. Uh, maybe just adjust it. It might be different because I'm also using a keyboard. I switch between keyboard and ga uh, gamepad, so I'm not sure. But just try your best with what you got, and then we'll make some adjustments to it. <laughs> Rookies, chat. Rookies. It's October and you're farming Sim 22. Yeah, the cool thing about this game now is that you can like you can skip an entire month by sleeping, so you 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 don't have to just constantly wait day, day night cycle day night cycle day night cycle. They've made all a lot of the tedious stuff is just gone now. It's not as tedious anymore to wait for crops, which is nice at the start because at the at the start of your game you might not have a lot to do, and then later in farming sim you might have a lot to do. You're nicer to rookie. Shrike is no rookie. I'm calling him a rookie because he's not one. He's a seasoned pro. Just like that seasoning from Popeyes. <laughs> nice work, man. <laughs> well, you forget, I did this for a living for three months in Missouri. I ran a forklift. You know what else is great about this game now, too? Uh, when you when you tie down vehicles to flatbeds and stuff, or if you tie down anything, it actually sticks to the vehicle. It's incredible. They finally, you know what? They finally I did, did that. do that. You know, I was so bored last night. I bought a lawnmower and put it on a trailer and towed it, and I mowed everything around the house. Hey, man, brother. That's what, I, that's what I did last night. You're gonna love this dairy farm when we get there, man. Wow, 300 likes, amazing chat. Yeah, thank you, chat, for the 300 likes. It's always awesome. That's YouTube currency. You got to you got to dish out those likes, Chad, for the Susan. Oh, uh, I guess I you're only putting two in here. Oh uh, yeah, you can just I think you can just put them side by side. It'll fit. You, I can I'll do it like this. Like if you squeeze it in No, that way it's actually pretty Oh, I see. What you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the way you're going to do it, yeah. 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 Taco Monday. Yeah, tacos every day. All right, so Shrike's going to load one more after this one. Then we're going to go feed the chickens. Then we might switch months. We'll then gra we'll grab the eggs. We'll sell those. We'll sell honey. And then we'll go to the uh, new map in Earl Grot. Shrike needs a little uh, personal one-on-one -on -one time with me. He's a long-time, highly valued member. Actually, well, you're the reason why most of those uh, Farming Sim 17 videos exist anyway. And you got a custom oh. tractor made for you? Oh, yes. Remember you had the granola tractor, the Massey Ferguson? Well, <laughs> yeah. Had granola all over the uh, floorboard and everything. 
We might actually have to have that modified. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it's fine. It'll buff out. It'll buff out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little, you know, sometimes you gotta, like, almost push it down hard so that way, it, like, it's almost like there's a level of stickiness to things. Like, you need it to unstick from the forks and stick to the bottom of the truck. It, it doesn't work like how you think it would in real life where once you put it down, gravity will take the part. It's almost like when you're... You know when you're trying to get like a like if you get tape stuck to your hands and you're trying to get this, the tape to stick to something else? That's what it feels like, <laughs> yes. yeah. Or like static electricity. You'll have something on your shirt and then when you try to rip it off with your hand then suddenly it like starts sticking to your hand. That's kind of how this stuff works. Think of think of these pallets like static electricity. Yes, go back to science class. Amen, brother. All right, good job, man. Not bad for your first load up. Or at least your your first official one. Well, I might take the trailer and the truck with me now, trying to unload this one now that you hooked up. Or load this one, sorry. You'll be fine, brother. Hey, man. Good job. All right, now grab that other pallet, and we'll drive back down the road. Uh, they should use a box version of the pickup rather than a silly old box trailer. Uh, they do have a flatbed, but we bought this because um, it's refrigerated for the eggs. And not that that matters, but it's just easier for us to throw them in the back of this thing and stack them high. It's kind of cool that way. All right, let's go home, kid. Go feed them chimkins and make some dino nugget emotes in the chat. Do we have any nuggets at home? Oh, boy, I hope we do. Mom made pizza rolls. I'm gonna do a 20. Um, also, we, we've been. This game is a lot easier to play realistic than ever before. We're trying to go for more realism. You know, I, I say realism, but we're also limited by the game. You know. Oh boy. It definitely looks really nice. Graphics are really good. Yeah, looks good. The, you know, the nicest thing too is that the lighting really changed. They did a they did a lot of thought a thought into how like the, you know how it's like darker in the mornings later in the year. You know, like February, yeah. March, and stuff like the, that. The yeah. season that changes. Yeah, it's it's not like they just like, it's not like they threw a weather effect over like a twenty four hour day yeah. night cycle. The weather it, it actually you know it gets darker earlier and, it, you know, daylight is sh a lot shorter. Um, well, that's good because that's not the only struggle. Especially with farmers. It's not just the weather, you know, running out of daylight. Yeah, daylight, yep. Time. You want this game so badly? It is a very good game. If you like good games, you'll love it. Um, I, I've played with big groups. I've played with medium-sized groups. Now I'm just playing with, like, one other friend. And it's and I've played alone. And I think I like this game, like, all of its uh, different settings. All of it together is really good. All right, Shrike. Uh, our first chicken coop is up here on the left. So I'll drive past it. And uh, you'll need to put uh, grain in the grain silo behind the chicken coop. And to do that, you just drive up with the pallet and sit in the uh, trailer icon, and it'll offload automatically. And just wait a minute or two, and it'll be done. Do you hear, like, a spraying sound? Uh, no. Back up a little bit. Just put the pallet in the... Yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, the pallet. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Automatic, yep. Just pouring it on the ground. <laughs> well, it's going. If you get out and check the silo now, you'll see that there's a thousand liters of food in the silo now, and the chickens will be auto-fed now that we did that. Okay. Well, with that done, you can go ahead and uh, park that Massey back in the tractor, uh, in the trailer uh, garage or tractor garage, and I will drop this one off, and then we'll uh, we'll skip a on strike, and then we'll take a look at what spring looks like too. What's up, Gordon? Welcome back, dude. You've been a fan since Farming Sim 11? Oh, of the... Of, we've we've played only 13, but if you've been a Farming Sim fan since 11, then that's good. Also, crop destruction is on by default, too, in all, all game strike, just as an FYI. Okay. Although it won't affect it until there's sprouting in the spring. Taking care of the cows is going to be a lot of fun, though. What's the button for lights? Uh, F on your keyboard. Or... Thank you. 
Left bumper I B, I think, on controller. All right, so next month, Shrike, I'm going to need you to take this uh, telehandler and, uh, oh boy, <laughs> and uh, load the honey onto the onto that flatbed. Actually, you could probably you take oh. you could probably take that Massey and connect it to that green trailer uh, or whatever tractor you want. We're going to have to drive that thing to the marketplace next month. So you, we're using this green trailer. Yep. Oh, uh, that's the honey's on it. Yep. And now in this game, you know, just like with all the others, you know how it's better to sell in certain months or certain times. So, yeah. In this game, the March is the best time to sell honey. So we've been saving, saving, saving. It's kind of the same with eggs too, but also there's a market capacity. So, like for example, if you go to sell eggs to the bakery, the bakery can only take so many eggs. It can't take like mm -hmm. you know three trillion eggs. So you got to kind of like, there is kind of a maximum to how much stuff you can uh, do. So should I just take the Massey with it and just use the forks on that then? Um, so just like how you offloaded the pallet of uh, grain, the trailer will auto offload too. Uh, so okay. once we pull so over the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can bring it just in case if you want to. Just in case something falls off or whatever. It falls over, yeah. Yep, not a bad idea. And I'm just f feeding the chickens now. So Now tomorrow, Shrike, when we wake up, we're going to have to drive back to these chicken coops and load up with eggs. And then we'll bring that to market. And then we'll uh, load up with the uh, remaining honey pallet and bring that too. The eggs we can do by hand. Anything under 200 kilograms we can carry by hand. And uh, the honey, though, is for whatever reason over that. So we need, <laughs> we need to, like, a telehandler, which is annoying. Maybe if we didn't put so many jars in one case. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of honey uh, beehives. I kind of always wanted to own a beehive, or at least, like, a greenhouse. That'd be cool. Name one of the cows Bessie. Now, I have 30 cows over at my uh, cow farm. Me and me and Shrike are going to take a quick trip from uh, the, basically Minnesota to... Uh, we're going to go over to S Switzerland. Remember that, Shrike? How like we, we own that that dino diner, but it was like in Germany or something like that? That was hilarious. Yeah, that was a, that was a good match. Oh, we always kept saying something about the law. Like we got a... Uh, we somehow sued somebody or something and got money or something. I can't remember. That was funny times. All right, we're ready to skip time if you want to do that. You know how to do that? No idea. Oh, you just go to the porch and then sleep at the house. It's almost like when you save in GTA. <laughs> it works the same way. Why are you running like you gotta use the bathroom, right? Am I running? <laughs> well, fast oh, walking. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Lol, get wrecked. All right, go ahead. What do I do? Oh, you just press R on it. And then oh. it'll ask if you want to sleep. Uh, 8 a.m. on the next month. All players have to accept that, too, by the way. So if you get a request for that. Uh, Adam X 34 thank you very much for subscribing. All right, it is March. Okay, so if you want to grab that uh, red telehandler and load up that green trailer, I will go ahead and start with the loading of the eggs and uh, bring those to market. Sound good? Sounds good. What? Where is the other? What am I loading? Oh, you're going to load this pallet right in front of the uh, thingy here. Oh, it's just one? Yep. Okay. And then just load it onto the trailer. We get like one a yeah. month, so... Um, so that should be... that. In total, that should be 12 pallets. And the price for honey right now... Let's see what the sales price is. I think each one of those pallets is full of 1,000 liters of honey. I think. So if we go to honey at the market, it says... Uh, ooh, if we sell it to the cereal factory, it's thirty six seventy four. Nice. That's going to be some good money. Where did I park that? Oh, yeah. What's up, Toby? Welcome back to the stream, dude. Good to see you. And hello, chat. Hope you're all doing good. One's in the chat if you're enjoying your week so far. One's in chat if you wish it were Friday again. One's in chat if you had a good Thanksgiving. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't dump out the rest of that pallet. Uh-oh. That's right, I'll go feed the chickens again. Are we having trouble? <laughs> well, it keeps falling off. And I don't like the way this thing steers. You'll learn. Just make sure you tip them forks back. You'll get the hang of it. Practice will make perfect. It's a rite of passage to work those telehandlers. What about mine? Mine, mine was good too. I did uh, a, a little. Well, I shouldn't say a little. A lot of eating, too much pie, and then even more. Luckily, I don't have any more leftovers, so now, which is good, now I can uh, focus on uh, eating some of the groceries that I bought. Well, I have a little bit of extra leftovers, but it'll mix well with what I bought. All right. Here. All right, I'm gonna drop off the rest of this uh, wheat. Buy a, <laughs> buy a lawnmower? There's no lawn to mow right now. Ain't got no mow. Shrike, this reminds me of when we used to dump all that white fertilizer around in order to pretend it was snow. <laughs> the things we did. Uh, you can't... No, you can't hunt or anything in this game. No shooting the deer or anything, but... I'm selling the rest of that wheat. Egg is not accepted here, Rat. Yeah. The game tells you a lot of stuff like that. Sometimes when we load up with honey and... Like, you pick up the pallet, it'll tell you, Honey is not accepted here. It's like, yeah, I know, I just picked it up from the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you go to, like, if the pizza... Like, if you go to pick up your pizza, and it's like, Sir, we don't want this pizza, we make pizza. It's like, what do you mean? I'm just picking it up. Like, I... I'm just... I'm leaving the store now. I, I just paid you. <laughs> Sir, hey, stop trying to deliver your pizza here. Is that why you're in the store with pizza? No, I'm taking it home. Ma'am. Right, where does this green trailer go? Uh, so the green trailer needs to go to the, I believe it's the farmer's market. I think that's on the left side of the map across the highway in the, kind of the upper left corner. Let me j just check and see if that's actually where it needs to go. Oh boy. Uh, this is fine. There we go. Okay, so let's see. That farmer's market is there. It's called Johnson's Farmer Market. Oh, you need to go to the cereal factory. The cereal factory, yeah, that's, uh, you see where the baseball field is near the highway on the left? I see it, I got the cereal factory. There you go. So head there. And then just park your trailer in the, uh, little load-off area and just wait for it to kind of slowly, it slowly sells, but... And now what, what do I need to do for eggs? Eggs are... Eggs are what? Ooh, the bakery for 5200 Wow. Bakery and then the fast food restaurant, probably. Yeah, it's a shame there's no semis in the interstate. Yeah, I, I want the highway to... I hope there's um, a mod to increase traffic based on the road type. Like in town, there doesn't have to be much traffic, but for the highway that just passes through town, um, it'd be really cool to see, um, on occasion, a car, you know, come on and off the highway, but also to see, uh, it'd be really cool to see, uh, like, semis and a lot of traffic on the highway. It would make this place feel a little more quiet because it's like the busy highway, people are just passing through. Selling some eggs, Shrike. You probably get about forty thousand dollars for that. Eggs are incredibly profitable, profitable in the game, but very difficult to keep the chickens 40, fed. Forty thousand. 
That was 20. That's a lot of money. That's the maximum that that thing can take. We'll probably make another 10,000 when I sell at the other spot. Boy, does this feel like a cold Minnesota winter, though. You just don't know, boy. You don't know what don't. it's like. I don't. You don't know what it's like to be below zero. You've never experienced true cold. Yeah, there's not much to the traffic. It's just like a couple cars and trucks. It's nothing. That'd be kind of cool if like every once in a while a farmer's tractor came around. Yeah, hauling something. I don't know. Yeah, ooh, another Good 10. Number. Good. Welcome. Yo, Heather, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. We just sold all the eggs. Thank you very much Enjoyed for the support. Enjoyed nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The ads are so weird. It's like support your local farmers. I'm sure there'll be a mod for that to like make it Walmart and like State Farm. Oh, I'm gonna put the Rat Pack logo on that. Amen, story. brother. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. We're gonna have to put that billboard up again that says the Dino Diner. God, the things yeah. we did, dude. I'm so glad that we're back to basics. I'm like. I honestly don't even want. I want to. This town is so neat. The people walking around. The, oh, it is. Yeah. I know people walked around in 19 and stuff, but still, I just these buildings are a lot better looking. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of improvements. They don't make it very easy to pull into the cereal factory. Oh right. I forgot you were going there. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, you have to fit more of that trail. That's the problem with that trail is you got to kind of have to drive through. Wow. All right, that was about. Uh, let's see, about six thousand dollars. Not bad. If On I'm some honey. I think I think I missed one that popped up. So you got somewhere between five and six thousand. So that's not bad. All right, you think I can back out of here? Because I don't. Nope. I think you. Is there a way to drive through? There might be a hold loop on, around. Hold on. You don't believe in me? I mean, you could just drive through here. Oh, never mind. You better you back don't out. Me. You can back out. You're fine. All right, so now we have 133000 I think we were saving our money for a new piece of equipment, but I forgot what. And we maxed out our loans, so we had to start paying that back. But now we're starting to make hundreds of thousands of dollars, so it's not bad. Plus, we have oil being made at the oil mill now, so... Oh, that's good. Oh, what am I doing? I can just go straight back. Let's take a look at canola production. So we've stopped olive oil because we're out of oil... Out of olives. So we made... We have 1,800 liters of olive oil remaining, and we got five thousand. Oh, okay. Hey, Shrike. Yes. Why don't you drive now all the way back to the right side of the map? And, With this uh, trailer? Yeah. To where I am. You're gonna look for a place called the Oil Factory. Just, just get on that main road. You know, the same one that you drove there on. Just keep driving right until you see the last intersection. It's near. Um. I don't even know if there's street name. Well, it's by a big building. What's it called? Um, you're gonna drive down to where you, where you see the oil. It's called the oil mill. When you get close to it, it looks like a big concrete building. It's like a big square building, like <laughs> tall towers. I'll be waiting on the corner. I'm timing you. We're putting you oh, through your farm and sim train. This is a son. race. This is a race. Dude, that would have been a great IRL video to make, like a training video for you. We put you in overalls and like have you go through an obstacle course and stuff, and we do, we like shoot Bear potato crawl. guns. Yeah, <laughs> Bear crawl but it'll be like military. Mil <laughs> yeah, we'll be shooting a potato gun over the top of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and instead of like regular tires, you'll be jumping. You know, like you'll be doing your your feet through like tractor tires. You know, they'll they'll be obviously like big big tractor. Some tires. pretty high knees there, don't you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tractor tires. You better move, son, or you're going to lose your high knees. <laughs> oh, boy. So as soon as Shrike's here, then we, um, we'll basically be done with this, and we'll go start our dairy farm. We'll go get working on that. And then, Shrike, when you pull into this oil place... Uh, mm. Oh, boy, this is going to be interesting. I have the stream open so you can just show me. Oh, okay, well... Um, 
I don't know where it's going to be easiest to load from. Uh, pull in from this street and park the trailer to where the end of your tractor like touches this barrier. And then disconnect and pull left. And then just park the Massey in the parking lot. Because we'll be using the Massey Ferguson every month to uh, basically load up the trailer. Because there's going to be a lot of canola oil coming out of there. But it's going to make us good money. I want to take a look at the numbers again. So canola oil. If we sell canola oil, chat. Right now the market price is going to be high in December. So we got about a year to go. Well, about, you know, a couple months. The end of the year. So we got about uh, nine months left. To sell canola oil at its highest so right now it's it's March so it's like mid mid market value oh so it's probably gonna go up to like almost 5,000 so with the amount of liters of canola oil that we're gonna make right now we have well since we have none but that's because it's out on the pallets but so we've got uh, Wow so we have 37,000 liters of canola seeds in there and right now there's 5,625 stored which means that these, all these pallets, if we load that up, that's going to be, um, it's a thousand, right? Yeah, it's a thousand per box, so it's probably going to be about, like, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I, w I would imagine somewhere between eighty-five and a hundred thousand based on the price and how much we, Dang. we get harvested in the next that'd year. Be, that'd be a good paycheck. Yeah, hundred thousand dollars for a fat stack of canola oil. The weird thing is, though, Shrike, is these pallets of canola that are like it's like one bottle high. These weigh, <laughs> these weigh like nine hundred and sixty kilo. It's like a thousand pounds. Some heavy oil. Yeah, it's like you you think these would be stacked like three high though. You know, like. Well, what kind of bottles are they made out of? Well, I've or seen at the grocery store. You know, they're able to move. You know, like you guys ever go to the grocery store and they have that pallet jack where it's like they kind of like do the they they kind of pump it up like you would a car. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And they just they pump it like once or twice and they can move it and that's that's probably about a thousand pounds, but um, Like some of these is ridiculous like some of these you need like a like an actual like legit forklift to load it up I, I just think the pallet size is too well. I guess the nice thing though is that at least we could fit that into like the um We could fit that into that tiny refrigerated trailer for the pickup truck But since weight is a thing in this game you think to yourself, like, why are we using this massive trailer to haul these little pallets? Well, it's not because of their size, it's because of their weight. And so, thus, the bigger the trailer, the easier it is for the tractor to haul. So. Alright, yeah, and then just park that somewhere in the parking lot and you'll be good. And we'll save it there. Yeah, I wish the I wish the bigger the pa I wish the pallet would match the weight, but at least this is nice because this does make use for the pickup truck. Because they're not as big, you can fit it inside of a smaller trailer. So, oh, and you better connect to this weight strike, because that uh, canola is so heavy that you're going to need this weight here. <laughs> I forgot is about that part. Is it really? Yeah, for real. Like, if you put one pallet, it'll tip the front of the tractor. Like, you'll lose traction in the rear wheels. That is crazy. I know. Now, the Massey's not very big, but that's why we use it. I mean, it. it's big enough for some canola oil? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like that's in my cabinet. Like, I know. Uh, this, like... There's like 50 bottles here, right? Like if you if you hold one bottle of canola, you're like one fiftieth the strength of a Massey <laughs> Ferguson front telehandler, like exactly like the front of a of a of a front loader. So, all right, that should be good. So we'll save here and then we'll go to our other farm. Password will be the same, and I'll switch things up. All right. Good job, Shrike. The name of that is uh, Content Farms, by the way, because we're farming that content. But oh, I think my I think my dairy farm is going to be called Still Milk in it, you know. After all these years, we're still <laughs> still that was still Diner Diner. Well, well, people are, people still love that series. Like years later, even though yeah. I I didn't want to do I didn't want to do it at all in nineteen, and yet here we are. All right, I'll load the same. Everything should be the same, except I'll fix the password this time, so it's not capitals. Okay. And we'll do this next farm for real. Well, let's go take care of some cows. And go. Oh boy. Back to the old cattle farm. Oh no. I just remembered. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, right. It's like uh, nighttime now. 
It's like the latest I've ever played this game. 1828. Okay. Make sure that... <laughs> that lad doesn't steal our milk. He ain't gonna steal no milk. Hey, the cows are here. Alright, so we got hay ready to go for these guys. We got more water ready to go for these guys. And the sheep have been fed, so the only other thing we have to do now is... Oh, wait, I, wait. Oh, yeah, we're multiplayer, so I gotta... Oh, I can now name the farm. Now, let's see. There's a cow logo there. We do have sheep, too. Oh, man. Now yeah, we'll go with the cows. There, still milking it, dairy. Oh boy. Hi from Ukraine. Thanks for your content. Hi. Thank you for watching from Ukraine. Thank you very much for watching. That's that's very nice to see people from all over the world enjoying. Chat, where are you from? And don't forget to smash like if you're watching live too. I'm just curious to know who's watching live. Trek, are you here? I'm trying. Okay. Yeah, it might take a minute or two. Is the password changed? No, I just I'm waiting for. Oh, it to okay. Show up. Yeah, it might take a minute. All right then. Uh, let's see. So let's see. These are rentals. Uh, what else was a rental? I'm gonna change the music again. I'm gonna change to songs that I've liked. Okay, so, um, yeah, so this tractor's a rental, the mower's a rental, the trailer and the wrapper are all rentals. There's kind of a trick in this game, Strike, where you can, like, lease something and then there's a possibility that it'll become a part of the, uh, used equipment the next month. So there's kind of a way where you can use something and then lease it. Oh, we should do some contracts. Spraying, harvesting. Harvesting is glitched. Spraying is herbicide, right? Yep. Field 23. Where is that? Field 23. Eh, not too bad. Hey! Shrike's here. I wonder if we have to buy it. No. Is it possible to pro uh, progress the multiplayer shared world without your buddies being online? Ah, uh, yes. You can just load it in multiplayer. <clears throat> Alright, um... We're gonna take a contract, Shark. You ready? Just give me one moment. I hope I don't have to, uh... Hope we don't have to do uh, herbicide. I searched for some specific games and found your channel and I did... I'll find here, so I will stay for a long time. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching from the Ukraine, man. Uh, welcome. Every, everybody's welcome, you guys. It's it's a delight to see you all here. Ooh. All right, while we wait for Shrike, I'm going to drive this bad boy up there and do some spraying. And then we'll give it to the boy. Hey, Shrike. Did, yes, you, did you know I got the, uh, the uh, Farm Simulator Collector's Edition? Did you? I did. Did you know what that came with? What does it come with? It comes with like the the physical copy of the game and like a, a bunch of stickers and stuff, but it also comes with a strobe light strike for safety. A strobe light? Yes. Really? Oh, I see it. Uh huh. And so whenever you turn it on in the game, it'll turn on IRL for safety. Does it really? It really does. Are you ready? No way. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's actually kind of dope. It's pretty cool because if you, you know, in, in your graphic <laughs> settings, you can turn on the realistic strobe lights, uh -huh. which I don't know why mine 
Oh, is mine off again? Oh no, it's real. No, it's working. It kind of looks, you know, kind of looks like it's it's working. It's also chat's OCD alert whenever I'm doing something they don't like. All right, every time we get a new member tonight, I'll turn on the uh, safety strobe. So if you guys would like to, click or tap join, become a member today. Where are you at? I'm at the shop in town. Uh, just press tab until you see me looking very judgingly in front of the tractor. Boy, where are you been? <laughs> Why, wow, you look like that cowboy from that one song? Yeah! <laughs> Alright, new mission. Uh, load up that tractor to that uh, sprayer there, and you need to go to field 23 for a contract job. So take your time, play all realistically. <sighs> and I'm going to... 23? 23, yeah. It should be a giant white field on the right side. It's cotton, it looks like. Okay. So that's... Uh, when you pull out of the shop, just take a right, go through the roundabout, and it'll be on your left on the second bridge. Or, well, you have to take... Well, you'll... Well, actually, you, you just go across the bridge. You'll figure it out. <laughs> you'll just learn it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is that thing full of spray, by the way? Or do we need to buy it? Uh, zero. Oh, okay, so, we, so we're gonna buy some. All right, hold on. I wish you could set waypoints. Uh, I agree. All right, I'm gonna buy two pallets for you. And worst case scenario, if we buy too much, we can just like save it here at the store and get it later. All right, and then you press R to fill up. Yep, I'm filling. And then just grab both of them. We can actually offload uh, herbicide and stuff now and switch between herbicide or um, fertilizer, so that's helpful. All right, while you do that, I'll do another job. I'll take a fertilization job. So field two and field eight. Field two. We gotta get this done before night two and eight. So we're going to be running contracts and making money for the milk farm. Still milking it, baby. Oh my god, mom made pizza rolls! Mm. Mom made pizza rolls? No way. Also, uh, FYI, Shrike, we can only take three jobs at a time. Three contracts That's at a time. That's not fun. Yeah. But you can use the same equipment for some of them. So it doesn't cost you... Like, it costs you money to do it for the contract, you know? Like, it takes away a little bit of the reward if you have to borrow the item, but... Yeah. It's not that bad. I don't feel safe riding on these skinny tires. Me neither. I better turn on my safety strobe so I feel safe again. <laughs> What's the button? Home. I'm safe too, Rap. That's good. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, son. All right. What if I just start spreading road salt? That'll be fine. That'll kill everything. Oh, they want me to fertilize, though. So there's a difference. Does the road salt actually do something when you drive over it? Uh, road sal salt will actually... Um, yeah, it will actually... Uh, if you if you go to the, the like the store menu, you can actually go to like winter equipment, and it'll recommend like a tractor and like some equipment. So you can actually, I think, if you put down the road salt, uh, when it snows, it won't won't actually snow like where you've laid the salt on the road. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Or you can also plow. Do I recommend getting a gaming PC? Yeah, if you want to play games on PC, I think games are the best on PC, but. That doesn't mean that you have to only play on PC. Wow, this is so pretty. I know, dude. That's why this was the my place of solitude. Next to me with the mountains in the background. See, this is why I like Shrike. He and I are the same. I'm more handsome and have more gray hair. And... Support your local farmers. <laughs> that kind of ruins it. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't it be in German? We're in Switzerland now, so. Yeah, why is everything in English and in big bold letters? I don't know. Because well, um, America. Oh, I'm at field 23. Okay. I might need to buy more fertilizer than this. Uh, what so do then, I do? Uh, so uh, deploy the sprayer. and um, A cool thing is if you press F1, if you hit control and uh, Z, you can actually like control the sprayer now. 
So, like, you can do big, big amounts of spraying or smaller amounts. Like, if you get to the edge of the field, in order to not waste spray, you can, like, turn off some of the zones. So you can get the last little bit that you missed. I think I'm going to need way more fertilizer than this. I'm not older, I'm just seasoned. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm, I'm basically Cajun seasoning at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm Lowry seasoning salt, Shrek. I don't know what you just said. Lowry seasoning? Oh, you... Okay. <laughs> I'm just a little salt and pepper, Shrek. A little bland, but still a little zing. There you go. I think I'm going to need more fertilizer than that. I'll load up with these two more. Oh, the big bags are cheaper than the pallets? Oh, thank you. I'll remember that for next time. Will there be more mowing today? Well, I think I've uh, mowed my... <laughs> no mow. I'm going to mow no mow. Today, at least. Now, right now, I'm basically working with Shrike to get a bunch of money for the farm, and then we'll... Uh, me and Shrike are going to work through the night. So you're actually going to see the sun come down with us tonight. This is going to be real, real chill. Shrike, I'm glad you're here, friend. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Good to have you back on the farm. Amen, brother. Amen. I feel like I'm going to fly away with the spreader. It's pretty, it's pretty wide wings. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. How do you get so much milk from the cow more than me? It's very easy. Just come to my barn. Hmm. Oh, I see. A way to get milk is you go into the you go into the milk cow, uh, the 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 cow's barn and you ask them what'll it be be for milk <laughs> and they'll make more milk. I got gotcha. you. I got you, brother. All right. No more safety strobe till Chet Chet has to get a new member now. All right, let's see. I'm in no hurry in this game at all. I wish I had some kind of, like, progress bar or something to know. Oh, yeah, you can check the contract if you go to the, um, close menu, but you'll know you're done when you... You can either check the map uh, it, you know how you can check like if a, a field's been fertilized or not? You'll look for like uh -huh. the blue. You can see that way, or you can just go to the contracts tab. If it says completed, then you can like hit spacebar on it, and then we can take another contract. But Jerry is farming on Mars at this point. Yeah, I miss. Uh, uh, I asked those boys to play farming sim a lot with me, so they need a break. Especially Rick. Rick was like there every day, nonstop. Rick, need, Rick needs a nap. He needs like three days off from farm sim. Like to do some actual IRL farming. But I loved playing it with him. And I can't wait to play some more. So I got to do field two, field eight. No, Jerry. Jerry reminds me of me before I started doing YouTube, where I just I wouldn't say anything and I just focus on what I was told or supposed to do. But eventually that gets bored. So now I tell other people what to do, like Shrike. <laughs> yes. Well, that's right. Shrike's a good listener, and that's why he's... Shrike's wise for his young age. Which is why, even to this day, Shrike feels like he's, uh... 20 years old and not 18 or whatever. 25. What's on my head? Uh, it's hair. It's brown. Shrike also has brown hair. We have that in common. No. No? No. What do you mean, no? My hair's not brown. Yeah, it is. You're not blonde. It is. You're not blonde. Uh-huh. No, you're not. Dirty blonde, yeah. No, yeah. Well, a dirty liar. 
<laughs> You're not blonde, bro. I promise you I'm blonde. I need to see your license right now. I'll send you a picture. You lied right now, you lied to the state of Louisiana <laughs> on your driver's license? I can't believe I you commit federal crimes. <laughs> I did. I can't, in your eyes, I guess I did, yeah. I can't believe you would commit illegal federal crimes. Wow. Like, when you get pulled over next, it's, it's going to be guns drawn. I, mean, <laughs> I also totaled the wrong weight, too. Like, added oh, pounds. sir, sir, no big deal. You just had a tail it, And then they, like, take a look at the license and, like, five squad cars, like, surround the vehicle suddenly. Sir, L literal, yeah. literal perjury, chat. Can you believe that? here. I want to. We gotta go. DN. I need to talk to a barber then about you and be like, what? What color is this hair? Blonde, dirty blonde. No way. Yes, it's not brown. It is too. It's not dirt. What dirt? Then get it washed. Take blonde. Add some dirt. <laughs> what color is dirt? Hair. Blonde. <laughs> brown. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is more blonde than than brown? Wait, what, what is what, dark. Wait, what does it it's, say on your license? Does it say like DTYBLN or something? <laughs> like dirty blonde? Like what? No, it just says blonde. Bro. Oh, you lied. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's just, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I can't it. believe you lied to the I'm state of to Louisiana. Spray some fertilizer, bro. <laughs> you're spraying lies. That's what you're spraying. <laughs> <laughs> You're spreading it everywhere. Only to the government. Uh, it's it's a good call. They need to know. No, like, they don't what, need to know. What happens if you go lost and someone thinks they find you? Be like, oh, it's just a, it's just a, it's just, yeah, it says dirty blonde, but this kid's definitely brown hair. All right, keep moving. What? That's so that's gonna tell them to keep moving. Yeah, you know, they're gonna go. Lines up, they're but, gonna. Oh, you're gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna end up lost in the woods, and they're gonna find like you sleeping under a tree, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, it's not him." You're you're like malnourished and shivering, and it's like, Let, "Guys, we." Oh no, it's not him. No, it's it's some brown-haired kid, not a dirty hey, blonde. Hey, you wanna know something crazy? That's not even on the ID. <laughs> your hair color? Yeah. Wait a minute. What color are your eyes now? Don't lie. Blue. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, but what color did you put on your license? Dirty blue? <laughs> B bleen? You put bleen on? <laughs> sometimes green, sometimes blue. Oh, my God. Yeah, Shrike's got to just shave his head now. It's just going to be easier to account for his lies. No, that just means I can get away <sighs> easier than you can. Get away? I can move out this country. My hair's not my hair's not blonde, apparently. You have, do you have a passport? Do they say on the passport? I don't have a passport. Not yet. Well, you better get one. I need one. I might actually. I don't even know. Yeah, you can, I think you can get them at the post office. Yeah, yeah. Or or the I, DMV. I was supposed to get one. We were supposed to go to Costa Rica, but we never went. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, blonde. Yeah. No, Shri <laughs> Shrike's license just says lies on it. Like, wait, lies. <laughs> Hair color lies. Address it just says L Liar <laughs> Avenue. What? One two three Liar Avenue. On Fabrication Road. <laughs> You're not gonna catch me on that road. Oh man. Can we agree that it's dark blonde? No. It's not blonde. He's brown hair. I'm telling you, it's not. No. If, like, in the summer months, being in Florida in the sun a lot, like, my hair gets, like, pretty freaking blonde. Like, it's. It's definitely noticeable blonde in the summer months. Oh, so now you're a noticeable blonde? Okay. <laughs> You gotta settle down and pick a hair color, Shrike. You can't just be this free spirit, okay? Well, I'm still spraying, so hold on. Mm-hmm. You better be spraying, spraying it brown. Else. You better be spraying it brown. Oh, you're looking to join. Ooh. Excellent. Click or tap the join button next to the subscribe button now. What's the difference when I can pick this sprayer up or put it down? Do the plants care which one I do? Uh, no. Just picking it up is for, like, transporting it. Well, I guess you could pick it up if the crop is taller, like sunflowers or something. But the lower it is to the ground, the better um, it's supposed to be for the soil. Uh, one tiny spot on the complete opposite side of this field. 
You're watching from uh, Jamaica? Thank you, Milo, for watching. My contract on field two is done. Good. Now I just need to go to eight. What is that, Chad? Is that potatoes there? I think so. You know what's interesting, Shrike, is in this game it actually takes into account whether or not a crop is flowering and it'll increase its yield. So, like, if you if you put bees next to a potato field, will potatoes have flowers, you know? Like, when, they, when they're ready to grow, they're flowering. The same with, uh, yeah, same with sunflowers and canola. Like, they're, they're technically flowers, you know? Really? So it'll increase their yield, yeah. Not much, but... It's... Fifty Shades of Lana. Fifty Shades of Lies with Strike. Um... What? That's completed. Did we get the money? Oh, no, I... Uh, you just have to hit a button to, like, mark it as complete. So I'll do that. Stand by. It already says it's completed. No, I know, but you gotta do, like, something to, like claim the quest mm. you know so like mm. yep so you did that one i did that one there's a cultivating one for 2000 harvesting seems bugged but you can do a cultivating one if you want with the big o john deere if you feel like it field what 10 how big is that one it don't matter. field 10 is not that big you want to do that one yeah sure all right so then go back to the uh Back to the shop and pick up the new John Deere. Amen, brother! Yeah, yeah, yeah I got the John Deere. Oh, it's a nice one. Amen. I really want there to be a life simulator later like this, Shrike, where we gotta, like, eat and, um, you know, keep warm and stuff. It'd be really cool if we actually had to, like, cut down trees and d burn it for, you know, wood for warmth and stuff. You would want to have to eat in this game? Well, you know how there's, like, um, the survival mod where, like, you start with zero dollars and basically just a pickup truck and, a like, a chainsaw? Yeah. I want to do that with you. I tried to do that with the members, but the game's kind of unstable for too too many people. But I'd love to do a, a survival series where it's just you, me, a chainsaw, and a truck, and we just, like, move wood around. That would be fun. Amen. All right, I'll go to the end of this field. Hey, hey! What, what, what? The car cut me off. Oh, yeah. I even have my hazards, my, the, my blinking lights. <laughs> the AI will treat you Strobes. like uh, AT oh, ATS Euro Truck Strike multiplayer. Uh-huh. Now that there's that, uh, yeah, we got to do a member member. Now that night. it's actual multiplayer. Yeah, and like there's actual traffic, and you can do you can do mods, mods now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we, yeah, strike. we have to. We, we got a lot of business wheel. to do. Oh, you don't have one? I so, No, I sold mine a long time ago. I, I'm going to have a controller. That'll be fine for now, but if... You'll be fine with a controller, yeah. Yo, well, thanks again, everybody, for subbing. Thanks for smashing like if you're just tuning in. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out with us, and... Uh, Good to see you all in the chat. I hope you're all enjoying your week so far. I hate to say it, but happy Monday, you know. <laughs> you know. You know. <laughs> you know, Monday's Monday, you know. But yeah. Nah. Dude, I, I really... This game has made me want to be able to load up the trucks in uh, ATS in your truck, though. Like haul trucks? Well, like, instead of um, pulling up and just having, like, the um, trailer already loaded for you, it'd be kind of cool to be able to, like... Load the trailer. Yeah, like, even if it were just pulling up under, like, you know, like, let's say you pulled up to a mine and they were going to load iron ore into your truck. Even if you just pulled up under a hopper, it'd be kind of cool to just, you know. Yeah.
Nothing's happy about Monday? Well, if you don't work Monday, then, you know, it's a happy, happy day. I used to look forward to Mondays a lot because a lot of the podcasts that I'd listen to back in, like, the early 2010s, like, 2010 through 20, like, 13, I would listen to a lot of really lovely podcasts that I think about to this day, and I just think about, <laughs> I just think to myself now, like, hey, what happened, man? What happened? And I realize, like, oh, yeah, well, like, all those people eventually, like, got other jobs, and, like, you know, after a decade of doing it, they moved on and had kids and wanted to do other things, like, what, that, that's a good excuse to move on. It's the same with our community, uh. like. Why isn't Pinto around anymore? Because he's a betrayer, and he's not to be trusted. And also, he got there busy with school, go. and... No, he got busy with his girlfriend. Well, there's that, and, too, yeah, but... Uh, you know, the truth. But then, he can't be trusted, Chip. No. Uh, we console players don't even have hazards, so the only thing close to it is the beacons. Wait, you don't get hazard lights on console? To, like... Oh. There's not, like, a button you can press to, like, signal? Bro, if you want to go for ultimate realism like that, there you go. Is this the same jump? Is this the same uh, tractor we're using, chat? T6? Oh, yeah, it is. The new Holland T6, that's the one we want to, that we're leasing that we want to buy. Nice hat, why thank you. It comes on, turns on whenever I'm, I'm having a good idea. I think letting Strike play with me tonight was a pretty good idea. Uh oh, Strike sent a picture. It was okay. Oh, oh. We have Shrike's ID. Wow, you look 16. Well, you, you want to know why? Because you were 16. <laughs> there oh, yeah. you go. I forgot. 6-1. <laughs> Eyes blue. Okay, checks out. Story checks out, chat. Story checks out. It doesn't even say hair. I know. I mean, I, I don't know why I figured. Is yours? I think so. Well, you know what? Honestly, with people dyeing their hair so often, it's like, why? Do, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that, that kind of wouldn't. Like, yeah. you can't really change your eye color unless you do contacts, but not, most people don't do that. For ladies, it must be crazy, because it'll be like, well, Charlotte, it says you're blonde, and, you know. It seems <laughs> yeah, like exactly. it seems like the ladies like to always go opposite of whatever they are. If they're blonde, they want to go brown. If they're brown, they want to go blonde. That's just my experience. Uh-oh. That was a bad idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I need a side, s side panel to create uh, realism. Well, Harry uses that little side panel. Remember that strike, that SciTech side panel that you could get? Yeah. yeah. He uses that, but he says it doesn't feel as realistic. But, you know, I see so many people in, like, ATS and stuff actually, like, buy truck, <laughs> like, dashboards and then, like, connect it to USB. Those are cool, the American truck ones. Yeah, true. I think this contract should be complete, too. Oh, I'm like at 95%. I just got to circle back. Okay. We want we want bright colors. Is that Actually, I think Morgan Morgan I, Morgan's like talented with the whole ha makeup, hair dye, beauty. Morgan, what should I do? How do I get rid of these roots or something or how do I <laughs> I don't know. Or I don't something know. Yeah, some... What do I do, Morgan? What do I... I need you to talk me into a plan. Do I exfoliate? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> like, guys are supposed to care about their skin, too. And that is true. Like, especially if you shave. Oh, yeah. It's important to, like, do that stuff. And I, I... Use some of that stuff, like, every once in a while. But it's, like, so little. And, like, I use it as, like... You know you know how it is, Shrike? You get a you get a sampler in the mail, and you use it for, like, eight years. Oh, yeah. I, I get the Instagram free trial for 30 days, and I, I get the... Things shit to me, use it for 30 days, and then cancel the subscription. Like, I have some stuff that, like, a razor company sent to me when I was, like, 18 or something through high school. They were like, hey, sign up to our thing, and we'll give you a free ra Like, the whole gimmick was like, we'll give you the free razor and, like, start a razor blades, and if we do that, we'll get, you know, like, we'll get them in for life. And it was true, because I still actually buy the razors for that hey, razor there you blade. Go. That's it was quite smart. Happy smart of them, yeah.
Oh, gr get green hair so it doesn't show up on the... Okay. And Morgan, I need you to do my pre-stream makeup. I need you to... I need to look beautiful again. Again? It's, it's the only way people are going to become members now. I, I've i tried all the comedy and I've tried the gameplay. It's not working out. I need... Uh, you want plum purple ombre in your hair? I don't know what the hell that is, but all right, I'm down. Or maybe I should do eyeshadow. I don't know. You think? Well, you wouldn't be able to tell. Because <laughs> I wear the sunglasses all the time. Let's see, you could be, you could have someone now. Chat underneath these glasses, I've I've gotten some really extendo eyelashes going on here, and some uh, eyeshadow. It's very beautiful. I want unicorn horns on the end of my nails. That'll oh, you wouldn't yeah, you it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't be able to. The only thing that would matter is the hair. Otherwise, nobody'd be able to see my fingers. No one would be able to see my. I think you should color your uh, facial hair a different color. Oh. Dirty blonde. <laughs> <laughs> a completely yeah. different color that's nowhere near what I'm wearing now. Yeah. I think so. I don't want it to match your hair color whatsoever. All right, Morgan. Well, s send me a, a care plan on what I what I need to do. I need like a 12-point plan on how to beautify me. <laughs> Maybe dye the beard green. Okay, so uh, never mind. Cancel what I just said. Never mind. You can't be trusted. New job for me. Yeah, I'm going to be selling uh, knives on QVC, so I'll have to get really pretty nails. <laughs> knives? You think they'll go with that? Well, you know, because, like, if you're holding it, they're going to zoom in on your hand, right? And so you want to have, like, you want to be a hand model, right? Pretty nails, yeah. yeah. Have a shave? What? This is beautiful. I don't know. My hair is getting pretty long. I wouldn't mind a little shave off. A reset button. Oh, no. It put all the pallets over there. Damn this game. Ah, crap. Wait, I could try to fill it up and move it. Oh, I tried to put the pallets over there. Damn you, game. Damn you, game. I'm gonna try, I'm trying to pick up these um, pallets. Put it back into fertilizer and then put it back in the store. I don't know why I tried to spawn it on the other side of the billboard in the yard. Like, not cool game. There needs to be a way for the game to, like, put uh, little green highlights on where it's going to drop the stuff before you approve it. You love the epic music for Farming Sim 22? Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. All right, I think that's fine. Nope, one more. All right, luckily we got it all now. That's good. There it goes. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. It's been a while since we've seen scam bots here. It oh, come on, low. man. Now put it into the cars. Oh, that's fine. I'll just park the trailer next to it. All right. Well, that's on the game. <laughs> All right, let's finish that contract. All right, Shrike's doing tillin'. Tillin' and chillin'. That'll be Shrike's podcast. 
He's going to be in a cultivator. Boom. I'm going to come check on you. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go check on Shrike. Ah, harvested canola. Okay. Oh, the sun's going down. God, it's beautiful, though. All right, Shrike, you keep doing that. I'm going to go back to the house and take some time off. <laughs> good luck. That's no fair. True. Well, good luck. Well, what I need to do, though, is... Um... Oh, look at that. The cow's actually going to... It's walking and eating. That's interesting. Oh, they have some good animations. Uh, I need to return a lot of the equipment that we've been using. Because by tonight, me and Shriker, we're going to sleep, and then some of this equipment should go on sale. So I'm going to return all the stuff we borrowed now. You're watching from Norlands. Awesome. Welcome. Can I play some country music? Well, not much without copyright. This is all non-copyright stuff. You see where the... Uh, you see where the recording industry has gotten us now? Can't even, like, cough into a microphone without it sounding like some song from 1973. Get your entire stream shut down. Well, that tether is ours, though. But hopefully, we get to buy this one day. You know that that Crone Windrower is just awesome. It's a really good piece of equipment. It's Nolans. Oh yeah, Nolans. Going to Nolans. Cows have four stomachs. Well, I have one, but you know, I seem to eat like a cow sometimes. And that's not true. Cows eat better than I do. All that grass all the time. <laughs> Law. This music was made by a 12 year old on Fruity Loops? Yeah, probably. Alright, Chan. Alright, I'll change it. I'll change it. Let's see what else we got. Here, let's do Surprise Me. How about Surprise Me? It's gonna just pick everything random now. So now it's not my fault. You're playing the game too? Good. It's a re it's a really fun game. I was playing this all alone uh, today. I, actually, I played this all alone last night and all alone today. And um, well, I'm glad Trike's here. Somebody to complain to, but... <laughs> um, I've taken care of most of this stuff with the cows. Now we're just doing contracts for now, which is good. Oh, dude, this game's, like, rated for three-year-olds. Like, the the Peggy on this one is, like, 18, uh, three. Like, there's no way. It, it would only be an 18-plus game if there was something to do with, like, making alcohol. And so they got around that by calling, you know, wine grape juice. Oh, hey, that's a little too dark. What? The Earth? Huh? It got really dark on this field all of a sudden. Oh, because the sun went behind a mountain. <laughs> yeah. It, like, it was so sudden, though. Like, I was I was looking at the ground, and all of a sudden, I couldn't see it. 
Uh, you should have like 360 lights. I just turned them on. Nice. I had a light source at first about the sun, but uh, he's passed away. What is it, 7 o'clock now in the game? 7 p.m.? Correct. Dude, I like this real- dude, when you play this game for like 8 hours and you start at like 8 a.m. and then the next thing you know it's like 5 or 6 p.m. It's really amazing to like know that time changed. Or to know that time also changed in the real world and you've now spent a whole day. Don't you judge me! Don't you <laughs> judge me, Shrike! <laughs> you've now spent the whole day. Don't you judge me. Farming. Bro, this is the only game, though, where I've, like, played it for multiple, multiple... Uh, like, I actually feel accomplished doing this and not bored of it yet, you know? And, and there's, it's not... This is why just I want a new construction simulator, dude, because I wouldn't yes. want to rush through it. I, I, I'd want to... I, I want these guys to buy construction sim and make it, like, an eight-player game and just, you know... Like, I don't want to cut corners. construction jobs? Like... Yeah. Well, I don't want to... This, this is, like... We got bored of this game when we started cheating and had to, like, top ourselves each time because it just became impossible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's like if you were a trillionaire. It's like, life seems like it's going to be real boring then because, like, I don't know, once you've ridden a rocket around the world and all that stuff, there's nothing left to do. I don't know. I'd get bored of it. I'm not saying the money wouldn't be nice. What I am saying is that, like, you'd run out of stuff to do at a certain point. It's like, you know what they say every Christmas. It's like, what do you get for a guy who has everything, you know? For everybody who's looking to shop for their dad and, like, nobody knows what they want other than ties and socks. <laughs> Your tractor needs a cleaning? Well, good thing it's a lease. <laughs> I'll return it like this. They'll do the cleaning. I, I paid for them to clean it. So they're gonna do that. But this game's like a fantastic, like, life simulator. Man, I, I don't think I could play like ATS or Euro Truck for eight hours. No way. This, I could definitely do that. Euro Truck's fun to do. Euro Truck and ATS are really fun to do like, you know, three, four, five uh, trips and then kind of take a break. But this, I just, the more I play this, the more I want to keep playing. Because there's so much stuff to buy. All the little tools and stuff. You don't get that with ATS and Euro Truck, although you do get the trailers, but... You know, once you buy a flatbed, it's like one size fits all for pretty much all the flatbed jobs. But in this game, it's like you could buy a low boy, you could buy a bailing trailer, you could buy a small bailing trailer, you could buy a smaller tractor for the smaller trailer. A lot to do. Now, thanks again, Chad, for almost 400 likes. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, Ron Spears, thanks for seven. Cyber Farm 2077. Yeah, we're going to start farming like uh, rodents and stuff for the future. Bitcoin farming? Gross. Yeah, Shrike needs more uh, Bitcoin so he can uh, get more NFT for his cryptocurrency startup. Exactly. They're doing a lot of research. <sighs> Those words are just so gross. What? I don't know, just NFT, oh, yeah. cryptocurrency startup. Like, if your brother ever comes to you with that, you just have to, like, you just have to hit him. <laughs> like hit him? To, yeah, to make sure, like, he's it's actually your brother and not, like, some clone. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be talking to a clone. Shrike, I have been talking to mom and dad, and they have agreed to distribute <laughs> funds for my NFT cryptocurrency startup. Yeah, I'd probably hit him. You'd have to. Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice if we could buy some of the vehicles in this game other than like... Well, they have those... They have like old pickup, new pickup, and then that's pretty much it. Oh, and then those like gators, but those things are so... You may as well just buy a pickup. Oop. Okay, we're good. Um, turn. Yeah, I, I want to see an up, updated construction sim too, dude. That'd be so cool. Like, the, the last game from 2015 wasn't really that bad. Like, they had a lot of great features to it. And it was a really... Like, they added some DLCs and, um, you know, a lot of new construction projects and vehicles. But um, I just want more from that game. But they've kind of abandoned it. They kept trying to do it for mobile. And it's like, dude, I don't want to play that game mobile. I want to play... Like, I want to play with a group of friends. Like, with Discord and stuff now, it's so it's so easy to get people together to do, like, a cooperative uh, job. It just seems like a crazy amount of fun. Yeah, I don't know why they push mobile so hard. I don't either. I'm not too sure who thinks... Oh, you only play construction simulator while I wait on the bus. Yeah, like... Dude, I can't build like an office building in 20 minutes like waiting at yeah, the doctor's exactly. office like it's it's exactly. not worth my time. Well, hopefully games like, you know, with Flight Sim out, ATS and Euro Truck out and with Microsoft or with the Farming Sim out, it's like, dude, people want to play big old big cooperative games. Like it's really fun to be able to work together. Yeah. On big projects. Or big farm, or big o convoy, or big o truck, big o trailer. I right, strike you're on your last pass. Actually, I think you're done with that contract, aren't you? Oh almost. no, you're at 99, and you're almost there. Done. Good job. <laughs> I was not done, but that works. <laughs> I know, but you only have to get it so far. All right. Well, that is it, Shrike, for our. This is like literally my first day on the farm. The sun's going down. Look at how much stuff we did in one day, chat. That's crazy. Now, to be fair, it was yesterday and today. It was like 12 hours. Actually, like 18 hour shift or something by now. But, you know, it was pretty impressive. All right, you ready, Shrek? New day? I guess I'll go to sleep. Oh, oh.
and go. Changes to a whole new month. Yeah, they do these uh, console versions and these um, mobile versions. It's like, no, dude. Alright, let's go take a look at the cows and stuff. Man, isn't that how life works? We slept one time and we lost $1,600. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was... Uh, a whole month. A whole month, yeah. All right, the cows could use some... Ooh, 341 liters of milk. That's actually not that much. Wait, these guys' health have dropped, though. No, it increased to 39%. Okay. They look so it, real. I know, they do. Oh, uh, we got sheep too, Shrike, oh, to check them. you can see the, like, how old they are and... Oh, yeah. So we have about... Oh, they're all the same. 600 liters of milk. Oh. Plus. And let's check out the... Uh, oh, uh, Shrike... You can actually open the doors on some of these barns now. I saw some of the buildings here. Yeah. You see? Oh. Will, do, will they walk out? No, but... They're smart. Hey, we got some uh, wool, though. Although... Can we pick this up? Uh, not by hand. But it's not even full anyway. I think it'll get to a thousand... Uh, I think it'll get to a thousand kilos and then we can move it. How are the sheep doing? Food 100%? Okay. How do I close this door? There it goes. Okay, well, uh, I guess we can get cracking on... Uh, so I already did a ton of mowing, and I already did a ton of, like... I made so many bales, it's ridiculous. I actually have silage bales ready to go to sell in, like, December, when the price is really high. So I guess we can keep doing more contracts to make money in the meantime. We can do a... Uh, so I think harvesting is broken in this game. At the moment. Okay. Because, so whenever you go to harvest a field, the game will spawn a field that's not fertilized. And so when you complete the job, there's no possible way that you could harvest enough crop. So it gives you a low yield field, but it's looking for a high yield field. So like, no matter if you harvest the entire field, it doesn't, you don't harvest enough to like complete the contract. Uh, I got you. But how about you do a uh, field 18 and 23 again with a fertilizer? It's the same sound? contracts? Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might have stuff on sale now. Oh, damn. The game's smart. It only gave us an 18% discount on these. Oh, I thought it was going to be like 50% off. Damn. John Deere is 51% off, though. Or 61%. Silo King is going to be useful. And we definitely need to buy those two, but not now. Why is there a dead sheep? What? They're not dead. They're sleeping. Nope, not. Uh, if we have 65 sheep, then we should be fine. Yep, 65. Hear me out. Imagine this game with hunting as well. Yeah, that would be cool. The sheep are fine. These birds flying around. All right, well, we could buy some more equipment and stuff. Uh, but, all right, Shrike, I think you should do fertilization at field 23 and field 18. Make the most of our time. So I'll borrow some items. And if you need to, Shrike, um, there'll be... Over in the parking lot, there'll be a, a couple of pallets that spawned over there. You should be able to uh, pick up fertilizer from those if you want to okay. do that. So you, two, you have two fertilization jobs to do. I want to do a... Why is there... I need the weight on this tractor, I'm guessing? Might be a good idea. Keep your front wheels down. Those jobs are worth it. Man, the harvesting job would totally be worth it, too, but they're glitched. I feel like in that case, I should just give us the money to make up for the fact that it's glitched. Oh, I forgot to return the mower. Uh-oh. Chad, I forgot the mower. He forgot. Uh oh, well now we're gonna have to keep that for an extra month. Oops. That's all right, I'll return it. It's all good. Oh yeah, for, I, re I, I forgot to return the mower. 
That's all good. This tractor can't run the mower, but it can pick it up. But at least we owe this tractor. Uh, own this tractor. Uh, where's the... Yeah, there it is. Does it not take much fertilizer, or...? Yeah, it doesn't take too much. Oh, boy. <laughs> it doesn't take too much. Oh, boy. A little help? Oh, boy. You doing a wheelie? Uh-huh. All right, that worked out. Yeah, it should say under the contracts, yeah. Uh, it should also be flashing on your mini map, the number, yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, it's kind of, uh, oh, it's going to be a rainy day today. A little later in the day. Oh, I was really looking forward to a beautiful day. Oh, well. How do you do logging on here? Uh, you just need to buy the equipment for it. Thanks again, Chet, for 400 likes. Wow. Yeah, nothing like cutting wet grass, isn't that? It's so easy. <laughs> That's possible. Depends on how wet, though. Ooh, you'd like to see logging contracts now. See, that would be cool. I would like to see more contract types. That would be cool. They actually used to have uh, like transportation contracts in farming sim, like the old one, but it, they were so they were worthless. It was like five hundred bucks to like drive something from one side of the map to the other, and it's like five hundred bucks is a lot of money for like a person, but like when you're looking to buy a multi-million dollar like wood chipper or something, it's like that's nothing. Okay. All right, we're back on it. Now we could probably get another sheep paddock and try to make more, uh... Actually, I should probably buy... Oh. I forgot to, uh... I'll have to bring my uh, telehandler over to buy a pallet fork. I think I'll buy that now. Let's buy a little pallet fork. That shouldn't be too expensive. We'll just buy it. Yep. $1,700. That's fine. Nice. Okay, back to town we go. Or the farm. This tractor looking a little dirty. Whew. 
Four thousand five hundred bucks for a sprayer, for a uh, power washer. Okay, so now we just got to drop the pallet fork. Or grab the pallet fork. Shrek, did you get that fertilizer that was near the truck? So you did? I did. Oh, you finished contract 18. Nice. Good job. Damn, you're effective. You should know this by now. Uh, field 23 is your next one. When, when will you play on your other farm? We were just there. At the start of the stream, we just... We sold uh, all of our honey. We uh, picked up eggs. We sold eggs. We took care of the chickens. Make sure you smack that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Gotta, gotta turn it to all, my, my brother. Don't, don't miss out on a stream. Nice. Okay, let's see what we're doing next. So we're making milk, we're making uh, wool for the sheep. We could buy some more land and actually start taking care of it. Uh, September is the earliest month in which we can plant wheat and barley. Field number four just had a crop in it. That was oats. Yeah. Field four is worth 285000 Problem is we don't have a sewing machine and we don't have... We really don't have any of the equipment to... Pl well, we have a plow, but we don't have a cultivator or a planter. And uh, in order to buy that land, we'd have to take out a loan of an another 100000 And if we... Yeah, I'd like to buy that so we can actually put cows there. Support your local farmers. Do they need artillery support or just a hug? They need financial support. They need money. These beets, though. Sugar beets, YouTuber? Yes. If Elm Creek is content farms, what are we naming this farm? Uh, still, still milking it dairy farm? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, what else can we do? Um, so Shrike's doing contracts, that's good. Doing my duties. I could do a little decoration over at the old uh, sheep barn. We could buy more sheep too. We do have a lot. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of food. But if we save money, I'd probably buy more. Um... If we had more money, I would buy more um... land for the cows. Make this look nice, I think. Ooh, that's a big area. Of, wait, that's a that's a massive area for pallets for sheep wool. Holy crap! Chicken coop. Well, if we do chickens, um, I want to make sure we have a field ready for them to. Um, I don't have like a lot. Of, I, I don't have enough money to buy a field and then the planter and the other stuff for it. So we're gonna have to wait a year and wait for that silage so that way we can make money from it. Because what I really want to do is start uh, growing crops uh, for for TMR for the cows. But we also need more land for the cows too. So all the stuff we want to do is just gonna take more and more and more cash. But that's okay. And then eventually, when we have more land, I'm gonna put all I'm gonna put all the cows down here. That's a really good spot for all of our cows. And then this field will be for like wheat or something like that, so we can make uh, hay, or rather straw. I mean, and then we already have tons of hay and tons of uh, grass and storage already. But we could definitely use this area for storage down here, uh, or we could build some stuff up here, like a grain silo or a fertilizer silo. Uh, we have a grain silo there, though. Just gonna make this look nice. I tried to build this parallel to the road. It looks like I have failed. drive over there. Farming Sim 19, the cows and sheep were a pain in cleaning the barn. Yeah, I don't know if they, um, I know, I don't know if they make a mess anymore. Like, they used to, if you had enough sheep, they would, like, throw all of the, um, all of the grass and stuff outside their trough, and you had to come back through with a bucket and clean it up. I, I don't see them doing that this time. Uh, there's also a robot that you can get for the, uh, cow barn. The bigger cow barn will have, a like, a robot. Chad, I think you want me to buy a, a power washer too, don't you? 
Shrike, nice job to... on job 23. Yep. You want to claim that one? Oh, wow. Uh, I can't. Okay. Well, before you do that, can you drive that fertilizer machine back to the uh, shop and then press I to offload somewhere in the middle of the parking lot? Yep. Chad, you want us to clean the equipment? Okay. Well, if that's the case, then me and Shrike are going to have to buy a power washer. Pinto Bless. I don't know why I placed that sheep pad at kind of at an angle like that. I think I was trying to... I don't remember what I was trying to do. Okay, I've offloaded. All right, and then you can go ahead and... You can't complete that contract? Wait, you're not a farm mm -hmm. manager? Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me... Oh, maybe that's why I just forgot to make you a manager here. All right, try it uh, now. There you go. Good job. Nice work. All right, if there's any other contracts you want to do, you can go ahead... 10 or 16 for sowing probably seem worth our time other than that the har the field harvesting one i think might be glitched unless it's just based on the elm creek map that might be glitched we'll see all right let's see yeah building is slightly off angle yeah i don't i don't know why i did that i don't know you want to try to do the harvesting uh if you want to go ahead field 13 let's see how big that one is 13 is uh, there. Yeah, you can give it a try. If you complete it and it doesn't give us money, I'll just put it into our profile through cheats. I mean, it should be working anyway. There's no reason it shouldn't be. Do I borrow items? Uh, yes. Uh-oh. Did you click accept or borrow? I clicked accept first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you're demoted again. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, then you'll just have to cancel because we don't have the equipment. That's okay. I, 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 honestly, I think it's still glitched anyway. I, I don't think it would have given us the appropriate equipment. That's okay. Don't feel bad. I mean, I don't think it would have given us the appropriate field. No. Oh. At least you better hope not. <laughs> Shotgun. The river sounds nice. That's lovely. Ah, oh, we could put down some solar panels and stuff too, Chad. That'll be kind of cool. Oh, you did cotton on this map and it worked? Yeah, I think you can grow any uh, crop in any weather, but I'm going to do more traditional ones. So if we grow anything, it's going to be like... Or if we do anything, it's going to be like cows and we'll make chocolate and stuff. We'll do cows and sh uh, sheep for wool. Okay, let's see. Oh, you, it was a contract? So, oh, that's true. So filled with barley. Oh, so you'll need to buy seeds too. Did you? Oh, oh no, I yeah, I wouldn't do those contracts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did those the two you told me. Did you borrow the equipment at least? I did, yes. Okay. That's fine. Hi sheepy sheep. Okay. Can you do brown cows for chocolate milk? Yep, we can do that. That's how it works. 
We're also going to buy a refrigerator to put some of the cows in as well so we can make ice cream. I just get seeds? Yes, generic seeds. And then you can just switch it on the planter. You remember how to do that? Just press F1. You'll see the option to switch crop type. Congrats on uh, 101 million. Yeah, thank you. We're on our way to uh, 1 million 20,000 subscribers. There we go. You're back. Welcome back. We are happy you're back. But I want to cut more grass, but I want to make sure we don't sell any product until it's the price is right. Uh-oh. John Deere. I don't get a strobe? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not fair. You can be your own strobe inside your heart. <laughs> I guess I have to be. I have no other choice. All right, October is when milk sells for the most, so next month. So let's check out on... Not that many new members today? Well, you can change that. If you guys watching would like to become a member, uh, this weekend we're going to be doing some members-only Big O streams for uh, everybody to join us in Farming Sim, and we're going to do some giveaways. So make sure you guys, uh, if you haven't joined the Discord at least, exclamation point Discord, and become a member today. I got more and more and more and more giveaways to do. So make sure you uh, jump on that uh, Discord. I got more to do. Okay, we have a thousand liters of milk here and only 341, but that's because their health are, is slowly coming up. So we have 1,341 liters. And that will equal eh, like 2,000 2, bucks or so. Not bad. I'll go fill up the milk tanker. Let's go get some milk. Someone get this man some milk. Raz HD, thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for your support. Enjoy all the new perks. Enjoy your new emotes. Enjoy the uh, highlight next to your name and the badge as well. OGB, you stumbled upon the channel yesterday. Well, thank you very much for watching. Nice to have you with us. Give me that milk. Mmm. Give me that milk. Here we got 1,400 liters. When is the next giveaway? It could be tonight. It could be after this stream. It's usually when pe most people are not on the Discord. I try to do them at random, but usually the last couple of times I've gone on there, I've been like, "You guys ready for a giveaway?" And everybody's very quiet. I don't. I don't think they like giveaways. Which way does the galaxy do things, Shrike? Uh, what? The Milky Way. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna it go won't get... let me lower the back uh, attachment. Um, oh, you have to select it. Press G. Oh, well, that would have been. Well. Member. Welcome. Herman, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Hatchling as well. Welcome aboard. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching the stream. Hope you're enjoying.
Wish you had the giveaways mid-afternoon. I have to sleep early. I try to do them at random to give everybody a chance. We got, as you can see, we got people from all over the world. So I try to do them early for me, late for me, super late for me, sometimes midday. I try to mix it up, keep everyone on their toes. Or I guess in the cow's case, the, on their hooves. What's up, Neo? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Yep, me and my friend Shriker, we're just taking care of the cows and contracts today. Alright, I'm going to fill the water tanker up with more water. Oh, boy. I guess that works. Most of the Europeans are the sleep your se second stream ends. That's true. Yep, that is true. Only true fans are awake though, Tan, so... Get ready for an all-nighter. I'm kidding. Go to bed when you want. I'm just kidding. A lot of you actually fall asleep to these streams. And that's kind of cool, actually. That people will put... Put it on before bed. Your voice is relaxing. Thank you. A new member? Wow. How amazing. Who could it be? Chad, who has clicked or tapped join? Ah, it's pre Berto. Uh oh, Bear. Thank you very much for becoming a little raptor. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you. It's probably a pre beardo but, you know, bear. Very triggering. Uh, a lot before my bed, the dog actually reacts to some of your noises. Ah. Oh. I bet your dog would become a member. Your dog's smart. Smart boy. Uh, now we load that trailer up, baby. Yeah, we can uh, sell some of our cows to... Um, actually, we, we could get rid of some of our cows and switch the ones that don't produce milk over to um, over to dairy cows. There are, there are a few Angus cows and such that we could sell and try to start producing more milk. And milk is incredibly profitable because if we buy the production chain for it, we can... We can make, you know, milk into cheese, obviously, and then start selling the cheese to the supermarket for a big old boatload of money. Which actually might be a really good idea. But we'll just have to produce uh, enough milk to kind of take advantage of that. New member. Stay sassy, Sadie. Thank you very much. Uh, str uh, sorry, strong sassy, Sadie. Thank you very much for becoming a raptor hatchling. What do I think of this game? Uh, I haven't been able to... I'm actually... I haven't been making many videos on the channel because I've just been playing this all day and night. <laughs> like, seriously. Now, to be fair, I, I kind of had an excuse last week because it was Thanksgiving and I was kind of doing a little bit more laid back. But at this point, it's like... Whatever. We're just chilling now. The channel hit a, hit a million subs. Let's just chill. And then... Uh, if I ever need... If I ever get in a bad spot where I need some emergency money, I'll just start a Roblox YouTube short channel and just overreact to buying Roblox. God, thank God, Shrike, you never got into Roblox, dear God. I had I had a little moment or or not Fortnite. too long ago, actually. Uh-oh. It was like a two, three-day thing. <laughs> 
two, three days you stayed up playing Roblox? Oh my god. No, no, no. It's worse than I thought. Not consecutive. I put maybe 10 hours into it and I was like, yeah, no. Dude. Shrike, if, if I took all, if I started a secret, like, second channel for Roblox and didn't tell anybody about it, I guarantee it would pass this channel in a week. With all the things I know about YouTube. You think so? Oh, yeah. All the things I've learned about how to gimmick grow on Roblox. Like, all you do is you buy those cards and you'd be like, Hey, uh, <coughs> you kiddies want these uh, Roblox cards? Well, get that sub number up to, uh, let's say, today's goal is 58 million. Oh, my God. And they'll do it. Yeah, because, like, I mean, it's nice that somebody will give away something for free. I mean, I'm not trying to make them a villain or anything like that. That's just how the game is played. That's not That's not bad. They're well within the rules of the FTC to do that. But sometimes YouTube's not about who you are, but what you do. For others. And they like that. It's good. Philanthropy is good. Do I think Giants will bring back the Welker Farms map and the Big Bud Tractors? Um, maybe. Maybe they'll do a DLC like that. Maybe they'll free up update or something. I really wish they would bring back a lot of their older maps because some of their stuff is really good. But I'm glad they brought back this Alpine map because I, I did not want to play this in 19. I did not want to play it. Now, super in love with it. I was just bored in 19, I think, when this came out. Oh boy. Your canola oil topped out at March $100 more than I sold it for in December. I wonder if this will be a trend. Yeah, the uh, you can actually see market trends in the game if, if you didn't know. Uh, if you click any item in the game, like let's say cotton, if you hit uh, price fluctuations, it'll show you when the price is the highest and when it's the lowest. So just keep that in mind for your planning of what you want to build next on your farm. Alright, we got more water on standby for when the cows and sheep need them, although the nicer paddock doesn't need to be, um, doesn't need water. Last stream I could see dislikes, now I can't. Yep, YouTube's taking away your privileges left and right. Just purchase, consume, viewer. You're just here to be a mindless drone. That's not me saying that. That's the YouTube Corporation. Because of YouTube, they care about profits and money. Money profits. Big brain. Extra large brain. Yes. Do you ever use the ridge marker? Uh, usually no. And if you're doing it for a contract, you know. Oh, uh, I'm using it. <laughs> wow. Smart guy. Oh yeah, I was pretty obsessed with Subnautica and Valheim, yeah. But farming sim has always been a love. What map is this? It's the Switzerland map. I always forget the name, though. Excellent. Excellent. It's an excellent map. You should get chickens, YouTuber. I know. I know. I could also pay some of this money back. But I feel like we should just get more sheep, because I really want to get into that... The wool business. It's a woolly good idea. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. Don't be mad, chick. <laughs> Well, I thought it was really funny. <laughs> okay. I woolly should stop, huh? That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> you wish this game had apiaries? Well, it does have beehives. So you can make honey. 
But I don't think you can I don't think you can go grow gorillas in the game. Or apes. Yes, woolly chat. I'm trying to put down another sheep paddock, but I just can't find a good spot to put it. Plus it's kind of a pain in the neck kind of spot there. Yeah, we could put down that power washer. Chat will be driven nuts if I don't. I'll put it over here. Yeah, yeah by the electric charging station. That's a good idea. Um, oh, I'll put it by the um, tool shop. Or this building, maybe. There, I'll put it right here. Or not. I feel like I eventually could delete this and build... Oh. I wonder if we could eventually delete this and put like a cow barn here. Or no, what I'll do is when we move the cows, eventually I'll put the sheep up here. So we could probably put two paddocks up here. One. Well, at least one. Trike, you ever see the series called Clarkson's Farm? No. Do you know who Jeremy Clarkson is? I've heard the name. That's the name from uh, Top Gear. Uh -huh. He ends up buying a farm in the UK and starts taking care of animals and stuff. It's a, you gotta watch it. Really? It's, it. it's it's wonderful. Yeah, it's a really good series. I think you'd love it. I might have to check it out. Yeah, it's on like Amazon Video or something. Uh huh. You'll love it. I think I'm gonna put our power washer over here. Yeah, we're pretty deep into this game. I mean, we're only in day two of, like, our dairy farm, but we've been playing this game quite a lot. Pretty pretty big, oh, crazy, insane million dollar. Will I start a farm when I retire from YouTube? There's no escape from YouTube. If I start a farm, I'll use YouTube to pay for it by recording everything on the farm and <laughs> over-dramatizing it. There's no escape. You're yep. in too deep. I have to live stream my funeral. And even then, YouTube will put out the notification two days late. <laughs> oh, he died? I wasn't notified. Oh, all that. And then we can create uh, green energy from har harnessing the power of me rotating in my grave. Don't worry, from I'll YouTube's make sure to BS. clip the best part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clip the best rotation of my, of my death. <laughs> so we can get uh, interaction with the algorithm. Well, of course. Big old crazy insane funeral. <laughs> and this, I died and this happened. <laughs> I died at my own funeral. You'll and this never happened. believe what happened at my funeral. It's just a three hour long uncut raw footage of your funeral. Well, then what? You'll, well, then believe. you'll have to cut all the cutscenes into separate videos too, so that way it performs better in the algorithm. Do a YouTube short of the funniest moments of my death. Oh, yes. You know. Was... Uh, let's see. I need to. Damn, I need to I need to find a spot, boys. Dude, this farm's got to be perfect. I know I know some of you are rolling your eyes right now, but it's got to be per bro, it's got to be perfect. If I could just put this power washer closer to the damn Have I tried starting a farm from scratch? Yeah, we did that on the f the first day we built a farm. That's pretty cool. This still feels like sc scratch, though, but... I guess starting from scratch, you just end up just doing... You just grind contracts until you get enough money to, like, build some stuff. I really wish that there would be a game mode where you really, truly get to build a farm in detail with, like, a, a million dollars. Which sounds like a lot, but once you build the farm and put down all the stuff and then buy some equipment I you're, mean, you're one tractor right. that's a fourth yeah you know one good tractor is a fourth of that cost exactly yay well that wasn't even that dirty anything else dirty 
My hair. Dirty Blonde. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be your rapper name. Hey, it's your boy Dirty Blonde. Nah, it's Lil M Dart. Oh, Lil, Lil M Dart. Lil Trank Dart. <laughs> All right, so now we'll watch this too. Thank you, chat, for 500 likes. And smash like for the triumphant return to Shrek. He's back. New and improved. What am I, the McRib? Yeah, dude. Well, you're going to have a limited time to keep up that attitude. <laughs> Is it limited time, though? Here today. McRib? Uh... I don't know. Do you really want to risk mi missing out on the McRib strike with those uh, pickles and onions that they put on it? I mean, is that really a risk you want to take? Do you really want to roll them dice? If yes, are those dice you really want to roll, young man? If the key point to the McRib is the onions they put on them, yes, I I'm willing to risk. Bro, not yeah, they're not. They're not great. Yeah. Have you ever had the McRib? No, I haven't. Yeah, you're not. I saw it today though when I went to McDonald's. I mean, I was you're like, not yeah. really missing out. I mean, it's like also, if you I've ate it, you'd be like, okay. Oh, my child. I, I don't know. We, we just got a brand new one as well. I, I just still, I pass by it all the time. I'm like, yeah, I've never had that. They actually have like nuggets. And I just keep driving. I had Arby's nuggets once and I was like, oh, huh, okay. Were they like. They weren't bad. I mean, they're. I mean, they're not. They're not those absolute flaming trash ones from uh, Burger King, where they're a dollar forty nine for ten. Oh, that's that's how you know that's, that's a bad decision. That's and, oh oh ah they they get mixed me with that. I was way too gullible. I was like, man, that's a steal. You know, money a little low. Let me let me, let me get some. Nope. Let me get some Burger King. Not, never again. <laughs> that was I wasted a dollar forty, and I'll never get that back. Dude, those those ten nuggets you get, I, it's so much more expensive for the Wendy's one. But honestly, if you love yourself, just go for the just go for the Wendy's ones. Oh, Wendy's. or even Arby's. Top Arby's 10. are a step down, but they're a, they're step up from Burger King. Yeah, like fourteen steps. Like, like they're at the top of the stairwell. Wendy's is under. The, I mean, uh, Burger King's under the building. When it comes to nuts, well, yeah, there's not even a basement. They're just under the building. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't like Burger King had a uh, a, a hand. What would they call it? the hand breaded uh, chicken sandwich for a while? That thing was great. But was it? Yeah, but their uh, their original chicken sandwich is flaming garbage, and same with their dollar uh, forty nine nugs. Like, and they even if you at the Burger King I go to, they try to like they put the you know they they like put it next to the little intercom where they try to remind you, hey, we have nugs for a dollar forty nine. I was like, why are you trying to get rid of these? Like, did they just make a massive order accidentally in two thousand six once, and now they're stuck with like a, an entire well, container that's ship? It, that's, that's what it tastes like. It they're trying to get rid of them. Like yeah, two thousand six that they ordered them. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they accidentally ordered way too like all of Burger King. Somebody accidentally added one too many zeros. They ordered a billion rather than you know a hundred million or something yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, just not too sure why. Why are you pushing an, a dollar forty items? They so push those like nuggets that. too much. Yeah, what's what's wrong with those dollar forty nuggets that you? Yeah, for a dollar forty nine. Yeah, yeah, something sus at a dollar forty nine. Something a little sus at a dollar forty nine. I like if I like it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So chicken fries, if you can get them at the right time, like if you get them fresh and someone who knows how to actually cook them, yes, their chicken fries are really good. But you could also get the ones that don't care about their job, and uh, you'll never want to have chicken fries again because it ruins the experience. I would probably say the best deal though is the uh, option to click or tap join to become a member today. Next to the subscribe button, make sure you click or tap that big blue join button. Next to the join us. For less than, than the, the price Burger of a King small ch fry, you could make me a big cheese. Ooh. I like that. True. All right, I'm going to wash all of our equipment, Chad, for you. Oh, I got to go get that tether, too. I wonder if I should have put down a damn, uh, I wonder if I should spend our money on like a giant windmill or something. I don't even know if it would be profitable. 
I want to do an experiment on that. Like, if I build one giant windmill and we let it run for like a month. I will let you know that the hurricane destroyed our local Wendy's, so we just got a brand new one. And honestly, I didn't know what we were missing out on until they built the new design. Like, it's pretty nice. Like, outdoor seating area and stuff. Ooh. Very nice. It's like covered though. It's like like an actual restaurant. Almost. Wow. Oh, it doesn't have like a hole in it anymore. <laughs> no, no. Like your old what 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 could your old Wendy's have possibly looked like? Like it was on fire before the hurricane? No, it the old design. It was old, just like a like an old Wendy's, like you know one that like was copper. built thirty years ago. Oh yeah. yeah. It's just some regular normal red brick all the way around. Nothing fancy. Old logos. Just a box design where this new one is, you know, a little bit more modern looking, has an outdoor area with a screened in porch and stuff so you can eat Wow. At. Day gum. Day gum, brother man. Day gum. Day gum. How much does it generate? Yeah, let's do the math on this chat for the uh, wind, uh, solar power would be pretty cool. So, let's see. Power generation. Uh, some of these produce money per hour. Like this one's 162 per hour, which is actually really good because if we if we skip time for a month, I, I wonder if the game takes that into account. It would be 162 times 24 hours times. Uh, I don't know if the game does 30 day months or how it calculates that, but. Hmm. Well, this is 375, though. That's... Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to buy one of these windmills, chat, really. But, let's see our loan. Me and Triker are sitting at 167. Um, I have to go buy more if we take out a loan, I could take out another 50,000, so that's not enough. That's 200,000. Shrike would have to do more contracts, and we'd have to start selling some milk. Or you could do another sewing contract for 3966 with the equipment you have now. Do you need more seeds, Shrike? Yes. Oh, you can just buy some from the store. Yeah. Oh. Have to come back for the store, though. That's interesting. Uh, they fluctuate based on wind. It most works on day, one month days, only count as one day. Oh, really? Damn. Wait till we sell the soil uh, silage, it'll get a lot. That's true. We could wait till the end of the year as well. I mean, I, I did all that work on that silage. That's just money sitting there. I feel like I want to put down something, though, like solar. Well, what about solar? Feels like wind would work here a lot better. Is there a way to see, like, wind trends and stuff? We could buy this small wind energy converter hmm. why are you wanting to go green well because it makes us money building a wind oh, does it yeah building a wind turbine would make us $82 an hour oh the weather page oh that's right the weather page yeah do the math how many hours is it going to take for it to even pay itself off oh chat's right though because if we look at the weather page you can see how often it's windy Ooh, we'll actually make quite a bit of money here on the wind this will mostly be cloudy, it looks like. November, December, January, it's all cloudy. For like half the year. But wind, wind is where it's at. Oh, right, you can build the weather station to get a better accurate forecast. That's true. That's cool. A weather station improves the weather forecast available to the farm, yeah. That's cool. Oh, no. Oh, what? See, this farm comes with the damn farm garage. Damn it, man. That's nice. See, they need to offer this on all maps because these ma these are... That's nice, dude. They need to quit, like, hindering it to one map. Come on. Let us build whatever, wherever. Like Shakira. Whenever. Wherever.
All right, let's see. This is liquid. Oh, this is liquid manure. Yeah, okay. But I can't believe that's empty. We must have to do something. From livestock to energy. Well, you got to diversify. Can't just can't just do dairy. Or at least it'll be more beneficial for us to get into several businesses. <sighs> All right, where are we? Oh, good. Health is 100% for the sheep. Hurry up. Get moving. Let's go get those sheep going. Come on. Grow faster. Ma'am, can you grow? grow? Let's go. Don't give me that look. Okay. Yeah, I didn't... I don't think you get manure in the small cow pens either. I think you got to upgrade to the barn. And then I think it's only liquid manure until you start putting, um, until you start blowing straw in there. You can get a straw blower and start putting it into the uh, level one cow pen, cow barn. So you got your cow pasture, cow barn. Ooh. Oh, the large cow barn might actually fit there really nicely. But no, in this game, I need like 7,000 miles of space. Oh, no, there's a fence, so. But this one would fit. But we're going to need a lot of money to upgrade to that. Oh, you have to put out the manure extension. You get it from the pasture. You can't get slurry from the pasture. Okay. Well, manure... Can we spread manure on grass fields? Does that, does that do anything for increasing the yield of grass? Or can that only be used on an actual farm field? By the way, big, big thing about this game... Boom. I love how they put down chocks under the under the vehicles. That's pretty cool. Five year plan? Oh, that's true. It's gonna be about five years till we get everything working. Oh, I gotta go out and get that tether. Let's go pick that up. Do you need water? Nope. We just gave water to the cows, and the uh, sheep barn is automatically. Um, filled with water. I guess that's one of the perks for buying the more expensive one. You can grow grass seed in a... Yeah, we can we can uh, farm gr uh, grass too. We can actually like farm it. But I think if, if me and Shrike do anything, it's going to be silage again because that's... If we can get as much silage, and I, don't, I think we mowed too late just based on where the game starts, but like if we can mow a few times next year and make it all into silage, buku bucks, baby, over at that gas plant. Generating power is a good idea. And to be fair, like, since we're already mowing grass for the cows, this is kind of, you know, a supplementary business is electricity and dairy. Oh, yeah, because when I think of dairy, I think of electricity. Is Shrike alive? He's focused on his job. He's doing his. Th he gets. He gets in the zone. Shrike, you're there, right? In the zone. See? I know the zone. Yeah, Shrike's not like Alex. Shrike actually works. <laughs> Just kidding. I got a job to do. All right, um, man, I feel like I could just give all the money back and just try to minimize that loan until we're ready. Just keep doing contracts till we pay off that loan, or until silage is ready in December, or until it's worth a lot of money. Oh, I should actually, I should look into buying a a trailer for that. Oh, we could actually, we could start transporting all of this stuff there. I bet the price is going to be high. Let's see, silage. Silage is. Highest in January and February. And it's the highest at the animal dealer or the gas plant. Okay. Um, what's on sale? Oh. Oh my god. 55000 Whoa, that is expensive. 
We're going to have to do some leasing for a long time. But I will buy a bale, uh, bale trailer for the... Uh, For the sheep and for the, uh, for the silage bales. Silo compaction, leveler, grassland care. I think it's bale technology. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a nice flatbed right there. Well, that one's nice. Oh, that's a great way to load all of our bales right there. We can get the extendo mod. That actually sits nice and low to the ground. I think the green one's a little longer, though. That would be nice right there. But I want to go with that silver one. Nice and cheap. Yeah, 21,000 is a good price too, yeah. This one's just going to take a little bit more horsepower to pull, I think, because this one's 4.8. Oh, they're both the same. Hmm. I feel like this one sits a little higher, though. They're probably about the same. Man, that stainless steel's nice, though. All right, we'll get this green one, but we'll make it red, though. Make it match the tractors. That'll be cool. Well, that'll look nice. Let's go with that one. Looks like we're really, really, really enjoying the game. Oh, yeah, I'm really, 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 really enjoying the game. All right, I'm going to go pick up that trailer and then start loading bales onto it so we can start bringing it to the animal uh, dealer for December. That's when the silage will probably sell for the highest so we can get a couple months to head start on it. Or at least load the trailer. I could use the silage fork, or I could use those, um... Do they have the uh, hydraulic... Chat, do they have a hydraulic, um... Uh... Bale grabber that picks up more than two at a time? I might have to look at the option for uh, bailing. We can also just use the bale uh, forks that we have. Bale spikes. Oh, that's a big old trailer. Nice. Oh, that is a massive trailer. What's up, JL?
Did Stark leave? Um, I don't know who Stark is, but I think Shrike is still here. Shrike, I think Ch I think chat needs you to like be audible every like thirty seconds. You're just gonna need to make a noise. So what should I? Just, does it have to be words or? No, can I just like? You'll just have to be like uh, Shrike. Vanilla. The the, the Shrike check-in, brought to you by Sprint. We need to make yes, a sponsor. Yes, uh, Shrike checking in. Just set a timer on your phone every 30 seconds. Just. And if you hear the timer, that means I'm here. Bro, chat, he's he's just as relaxed as I am, too. Some, at this point, I'm like, I don't have to do much to entertain you guys in this game because, like, the game speaks for itself. You want to hear something crazy? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why'd you giggle? Because I figured you'd just make a loud noise. No. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Raptor. Um, the crazy thing is, I bought my car in January, right? January. Sorry, January. July. And July it's already 16th. totaled? No. Wow. I hope not. Um. I bought it with 33,000 miles, and it now has 46,000 miles. Wow. Since July. Wow. 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 Wait, Chen, I have an idea. If we do this right, Chen, it might it might work correctly if we do this right. If it works, ready your pog lads. Wait, wait. I forgot the wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I'll be back. I have finished. Let me go drop off the seed. Waste management simulator? That'd be cool. I've seen some games like that, but they're they're very old. Yes, wait, wait, the wait, trash wait. Trash collector? Yeah. It'd be cool in like, like a really populated city or you can do big dumpsters too, kind of like how the controls like a forklift. Yes. Oh well, I tried. Hi, Chad. Billy Nelson here, and you're lucky I'm here. need to buy a heavier weight for that backside. Good job, Shrike.
Oh yeah. All right, that's gonna be a little risky without a heavier weight, so let's uh, get a bigger one. What do we have right now? I think this is the... That's the uh, 750. All right, we're gonna need something a little more than that. Pack 1000, maybe? Hey, this new Holland got the strobes. How heavy are each of these? 620 times 3. Okay. So, uh, boy, that's about uh, almost 2,000 in the front. 1,500 seems good, yeah. If this is 750, 1,000 should be okay. 1,500 might. Is there anything in between? Like. Maybe the 900? Or no, there's an 1100. Hmm. Well, there's a thousand and then there's a 1500. That's about a t I think the thing can handle. Like, it doesn't need to be perfectly balanced out. Like, the back of the tractor weighs something. But the closer we can get to 1,500 without going over is good. But, but man, look at the jump between that one. The class 900 can be made into a 1,200. How? Oh. Well, we can only... Oh, that's perfect. That's actually a 1,200. That, that actually might be the best fit. Let's do that one. The 1,200 is perfect. That's perfect. And we can still use that weight for other things. Like for pallets. Like we can use the smaller one for sheep uh, wool pallets. And then we can use the uh, bigger one for the... Um, the silage. We're, we're going to load that trailer nice, chat. It's going to look nice. But we're going to have to pull that... Uh, we're going to have to pull that trailer with a freaking monster truck. We're gonna have to buy that New Holland. I hope that thing goes on sale. The blue tractor probably would have worked, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lease it though. We're trying. We're trying to save save money and make money at the same time. Oh, Shri oh, Shrike. Yeah, Shrike check in. <laughs> well, Shrike's busy working contracts. I'm busy doing my thing. We're working together. We're working independently, but together. What he's saying is, he gets the check, I do the labor. That's right. That's the way it should work, Merrick. I want him to break his back so that way I don't have to. Amen, brother. Amen. I don't really... I don't really feel comfortable like letting you do everything. Getting all the credit for my work, though, Shrike. Your work is also my work, because I let, I let you work. You should thank me as a dirty blonde. I'm doing you a favor. Well, well, hold on now. Shrike, what has Popeye's done for you lately? Uh, they supplied me with dinner today. Did they, did they get burned down in the recent storm? Burned down? No, they got or rebuilt. Or blown down? Them. Oh. I mean, yeah, it was pretty damaged. Shrike really loves that chicken from Popeyes. Burp, burp, burp. I love that chicken from Popeyes. Burp, burp, burp.
Yeah, this game's cool. Alright, let's do this again now. I don't know. Have you seen the Megan the Stallion uh, sandwich? Chad, did you see that? This still doesn't seem like enough weight. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we should have went 1500. Oh, uh, what now? The Meg Megan the Stallion burger, or, uh, chicken sandwich at Popeyes? No. It's like has hottie sauce on it. What they call it? Oh well, chat. We'll make do. Oh, it's on the edge of the. Well, that's the perfect weight for two silage bales, but three. So, can you lease vehicles? Mm hmm. Yep. How, what's the. Is it pretty high? No, it's like two, three, four thousand, depending on how much, you know, the vehicle is. Which is really nice, because, like, if you need to do hay baling, you can just rent the baler, you know. Like, if you're, yeah. if, if you're just doing one day of baling, why, why spend 30,000 to do one job? Yeah. And the nice thing is, is after you lease it, it'll then be a used vehicle, so then it might show up on sale for like a 50% oh. off discount. I was thinking if it was cheap, like to lease a bigger cultivator to do that for jobs, but... Well, that's true. Well, you, you tractor and get a big cultivator so it goes back quicker. You get a discount though, you know, like if you... Yeah, if you, if you lease, if you for, lease a for a contract, yeah. Yeah. You get an even bigger discount, so... Because they, they don't be giving you a big enough cultivator for these big fields. True. Oh, baby chat. We're gonna have to take a few trips with this one too to haul all the silage, so we will we will definitely buy the bigger weight. We'll probably just go for the 2K then. We'll return this one and maybe the other one. No, the seven. No, we'll return the 750. We'll keep this one for the pallets. So we'll, we'll get rid of the little 750 one. We'll keep the uh, we'll keep this one for the sheep uh, wool pallets, and we'll get a bigger one for silage. Will we do more public service for members? Yep. Yep, this uh, Saturday I think we'll have we'll have Shrike on for a mandatory. Mandatory Thank obligated. To do what? To do a big old wheat harvest. Wheat? I'll trade you sheep for wheat. Sure. Does anyone know that reference? No. I'll give you a hint. It's a game. Is that from one of your video games? It's not a video game. It's hand. <laughs> you got it. I love that game. Oh, can we? Like uh, a tan right there? Uh, no. I'd like really? to. Really. A really really fun uh, board game. We might be able to add wheel wheel weights, chat. Let me check.
Yep, we can add wheel weights. That adds what though? How much how much weight? Is that just a thousand kilos or something? Maybe I'll just keep the weight for now, though. Because this thing also has to be pretty nimble with the, um... Uh, the other thing we want to do with it, which is, um... Windrowing and bailing and stuff. Better traction always. Same with the algorithm, brother. Oh, it says it on the left. Okay, cool. Probably have to save some of this silage for the cows, so maybe we'll save like 12 of them or something. Use them slowly. Man, this tractor is really nice to load with, though. Works beautifully in these small areas. Really good. Yeah, we're loading mozzarella cheese. Well, that's one full row there, so that's good.
Okay, I'm gonna stack a couple more at the front. We should be able to fit like four more there. what I thought. Boop. Strike check-in. How do you buy a sprint? It's worse than I thought. You might possibly want to strap some of them down. Yeah, true. I should have done that with the first Knock couple. Over. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna try to redo that f first section. Why can't I strap any of these? Uh oh. That's not good. Hmm. That's weird. Too tall? No. Let me check. Uh oh. What the hell is that? Yeah, this trailer doesn't have straps. It just has the side things that come up. I think it 
I think the sidearm is supposed to offload it, maybe. Oh boy. Well, it was a good idea to start with. Yeah, the other flatbed trailer that we had had, uh, had straps. Need to get my weight back, though. It's cool, the weight can actually attach to the trailer. Kind of nice. Uh, that's a little more messy than I was bargaining for. Bum, 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 bum. I think the better thing would have been the one with side rails, because that one could also be strapped down. I don't know why they just wouldn't just give you straps on it, too, so that way you could use it for multi-purpose. This is better for bales, but also with straps, you could just make a change to it without too much trouble. It'd be nice to be able to use it for both. With no straps, that's unavoidable. So you have to stack them... I don't like that design at all. I don't like that design at all. Not at all. Um... Bail technology. Yeah, I was hoping for this one because the sides will come up on this one and you can also strap, uh, strap it down. This one doesn't really say that it has uh, arms, but you can see them here. Oh, this one's got the same too. So this one would probably be better for round bales. New member, welcome. Yeah, design two seems good. One is your all around two. But I think the flatbed one that I wanted would have just been better for the uh, st strapping down. Yeah, I should have went with this flatbed one. Because then I could stack them and then strap them down. That would have been much better. Uh, Matt, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much for your support. Marshmallow farming looks hard. Oh, it's okay. It's just about learning the tractor and everything like that. Or uh, the, the trailers in this case. Looks a little messy, but it's all good. Let's 
see. I'm learning a lot about manual loading, about maybe getting a little extra heavier weight and maybe a different trailer too. So I, I want to be able to do two by two like this. It seems to be really easy to load and offload them that way. But we'll start selling in December for these. Didn't I have an auto loader? Yeah, we could go rent that again too, but uh, I feel like I want to do some manual loading. It's It takes a little bit more practice and it's a little more difficult to perfect. I want to learn. Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, oh boy. I, I'd like a donut right Coffee now, actually. Wise. Oh, um, probably Starbucks. I, don't, I mean, I wouldn't go out for coffee too often, so if I did, I guess I'd make it the fancy one. Fair. Bum, bum, bum. Do you drink coffee? In the mornings, yeah. What do you eat? Good old... Coffee pot or Keurig or? Yeah, Keurig. What blend do you use? Uh, French blend or Major Dickinson. Do you add milk and or sugar? Maybe a splash of milk. You and the wife both watch the videos? Ooh, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate the support. Left or right Twix? Oh, probably both at the same time. <laughs> Why wait? Got a whole <laughs> life out there, brother, to live. Are you doing any more contracts? No. Oh, what are you doing? Driving around. Come on, rap. Really? What? I've been cultivating this field for 35 minutes. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be done by now. I thought I would be as well. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm doing nine I thought miles I'd... an hour on this ginormous oh. field. I didn't think it was that with big. This, with this, it is when I have this baby cultivator. Oh. Wait, didn't they give you a good one? It's a long and pretty one, but it ain't <laughs> it ain't really wide. It's like maybe three foot on each side of the tractor. Oh man. Uh, silage bales aren't going to cooperate. Uh, jerks. Well, we might have to do an auto loader just to bypass that. I'll have to be more aware of the uh, thing next time. But here's what we will do. I'm going to sell that smaller weight. Because this bigger one is nicer. Oh. Just so sell that weight. There we go. 
And then I want the bigger weight. Uh, where are weights? Let's see. So we got the, uh, what did we load up before? 1,200? Uh, 1,800 is like overkill. Damn. Maybe I can upgrade the 15, no? Oh, you can make it 2,200? Wow. 34? Alright, the 1,500 seems good. There we go. Yeah, so that trailer, I, I was hoping that the trailer just had uh, sides on it to stop it from going over back and front, and then I was just going to strap it down, but since it has these weird rails that I hadn't seen before, um, it was pushing it all into the middle, so we might change our trailer too, but chalk that up to experience and keep on trucking. Nothing too bad about it. How did I fix the mouse cursor? Oh, I was playing in uh, 12, uh, like 720p. My game, when it when the game came out, it updated my settings that I had from before when it came out, when we had the early press version, so it changed it. I didn't know that, so all fixed now. All right, let's go buy, let's get that bigger weight now, and then we'll try to fix up this mess a little bit, and then we'll, we'll go drop off. And then maybe we'll just start using like the loader trailer for our, our sanity. Although I want to be able to load it right, you know? It might be a little frustrating to watch that, but the more I struggle, the more I'll learn. Player development. That's all part of getting better. Yeah, plus, I, th I think I really should have just had that stainless steel trailer. Ch chat convinced me to get the red one, though. But, uh, it's all good. I think that might be for more square uh, bales, too, that one. Unfortunately, I can't haul the trailer with this one. I don't think. Oh, man. I should have the one with the trailer. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we need one with a hitch, too. Can this one upgrade? Nope. But the 1800 is too overkill. Damn. Uh, the 1500 would have been great, but... So you're blocking the roadway? I am. Uh, I'm gonna pull over here. I need a weight with also a hitch on it. There's the 1800. Hmm. Wow, that's cool. You can upgrade to 3400. That's awesome. There's a lot of options, man.
Are you all done now, finally? Uh, yeah, I already completed the- I just started this one. Oh boy. New contract. You're gonna be a busy boy. Uh, yeah, I already did one like this. So I think I just bought the 1500. So we'll buy the Argo 1500 then. Because that's got a trailer hitch on it too. Yeah, we should buy that one instead. Yeah, it's pretty cool that you can modify the weights, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Yeah, we should buy that one. So we'll keep the 1500, and I'll add wheel weights, too. And we have our shop back at the house, so that'll be fine. Cool. Alright, Chan, now we got 1500, and if we need more, we can upgrade the wheel weights to have even more weight. This is a pretty nimble tractor, so. We don't need to go too fast, it's more about the turning speed. Nice. 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 Beep beep. Okay. They should add trucks so you can haul your tractor to the store. Well, they do have that. You can you can do that. They have low boys and stuff that you can uh, load it onto. Tix Reviews, thank you very much for becoming a little raptor. Welcome. Thank you very much for your support. All right, this will be a little messy for the start, but I'll haul that trailer over there. And we'll offload and make things nice. And we'll do better on our second run. I can't believe that trailer you can't strap down on that trailer. I can't believe that. Congrats for a million subs. Thank you very much. All right, let's go make some uh, deliveries. And whatever happens, happens. Deal with the chat. Haters gonna hate. Alright, then... This is fine.
Oh boy. We're just doing a small pickup of paper towel rolls from Costco. They were having a sale. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. When you put those bars up, nothing moves. So it's all locked in place. Okay, so that's kind of like that's kind of like straps. It doesn't look like any of those are going to move. So they'll those will probably stay put. But I think this is more for square bales, which I didn't know. But sometimes it's all about the more you know. Talk to your kids about bale trailer safety today. Uh, we'll buy a nicer trailer next time and chalk that up to experience. Wow, thanks, ma'am. Okay. Talk to your kids about minivan safety. Knowing is half the battle. Oh, that's true, though. Oh, see, now, now someone else will learn. So if you guys are ever going to go buy that trailer, it's like, that's a pretty cool trailer. If you're buying, uh, actually, I think it's the wrong way. That's a pretty cool trailer if you're going to load up uh, square bales on it. Sometimes this game doesn't do a good job of telling you exactly what you're getting into. It kind of waits for you to figure it out sometimes. Which is funny. Yep, that's fine. You bought the trailer and did the same thing? Yeah. I didn't know it had those cool side rails. I assumed that it just, um, like, you could strap everything down, which is what I wanted to do. Which you should also be able to do, too, because, like, if you're, you know, let's say you want to use that trailer to load bales one time, and then you finish your bale haul, and then you want to put down, like, honey or something on it. Uh, and it hangs over the edge a little bit, and it would get clipped by those rails. It'd be nice to be able to tie things down a little bit. Like, things should be able to hang over the edge a little bit, and then you should be able to just strap it down. Otherwise, this happens. But yeah, you should be able to strap everything down. Oh, well. Chalk it up to experience. And for comedy, lol. I have arrived. That flat silver trailer does that? Yeah. That's the one I wanted to go with at the start. I was like, oh, I want that flat silver one. But chat talked me into getting one of these ones. And I was like, oh, yeah, this trailer's good, too. But I didn't know about the arms. Now, wait a minute. Where do I sell the silage? It's got to be out back. Hold on. Before I get trapped in here, let's find out where it is. Studio laugh track. Okay, there you go. Welcome back, Shrek. Oh, it's around the back side, I think. Oh. I had forgotten that there's collectibles in this game. Is this one of them? Wow, look at it. Amazing. What could that be? Chad, is there collectibles in the Swiss map? Because I should start looking around for them. Oh, you have to deliver them back here? Oh, that sucks. 
This is probably where you pick up your animals, and this is where you drop off your silage. This doesn't even look like a loading area. Oh, the loading area sucks for silage here. All right, so maybe we better leave everything at the house. I, I was I was hoping that we could like drop it off here, and it's like, oh no. Yeah, that area there is too small. We could well, what we could do is we could put all the silage down here. <laughs> In fact, wait a minute. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pit. I could just dump it all off here, and then eventually bring this tractor there to just bring them over one by one and take like twenty five trips. I mean, it's like, we have two options. We either do it now or we do it later, you know? Although this ain't a drop-off point, so it's okay. No, I know it needs time to turn into silage. Um, well, actually, no, it's, it's immediately silage, but... Uh, we need uh, to drop this off by December. So if I, if I do it now, we're either going to do it now or do it later. Either way, it's going to come out the same. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is fermenting. It's at seventy-three percent. I mean, like, like I said, we're not we're not going to sell this until December. So, um, like, it's 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 immediately like ready to go. We just need to have it here in storage. And by that I mean we're not selling it till December, so we it's about the transportation. It's about the transportation. And so I need to change my thought on this trailer a little bit. So this will be a nice trailer for square bales. So I'm going to have to trade this one in, I think, for the silver one. And I wish they... I wish the game would let you do demos and stuff. Like, I wish it would have, like, a tutorial video or be more descriptive about that stuff. Like, because this trailer doesn't even have straps, and it's like, well, what the hell? Like, this is a great bale trailer, but without straps, it's like you can't put anything else on here? Or at least it can't, it can't be a certain width wide, which is annoying. So this is going to be our experience dump. Oh, did you guys know it had a tipper option on it? Look at that. Oh. Oh, the trailer actually tips too. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh. I had no idea. Wow. Oh. That's so amazing. Chad, did you know that? Wow. The RBM 2000 is great for round bales. Okay. Well, that'll be the other thing, too. I mean, half of it's discovery. If you do it wrong, it's fine. Although it's a little annoying because it does cost money, but it's all good. What's up, Clay B? How you doing? What's happening? Sure. Uh, basically, what my idea was is we had all of our silage bales all stacked up neatly up at our barn. And what I was going to do is stack them really neatly on the on a trailer and bring them here for sale in December. So I was going to start stacking them up here in preparation for the eventual delivery in December. So they would be all here ready to sell and I would just like put them into the zone because we would have to take multiple trips because we had so many. So I bought this trailer, and it just seems like it's better for square bales. So it all kind of went weird in the end, but we're chalking it up to a learning experience. And uh, I'm probably gonna actually, I'll probably just sell this trailer now because I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll need it for anything. So we'll buy a different trailer. And I'm feeling emotionally damaged from this game's lack of description. So I think I'm gonna sue for 125,000 emotional damages. So we'll put that into our bank account at the end because <laughs> that's a little ridiculous, and annoying. But it's all good. Uh, so it's under bale tech? Where, where is that? Balers. Bale loaders. There it is. There we go. Emotional damage. Oh, it's the future. This, 
this game takes place in 2022, not 2021. So since I was ill-informed, I can sue and, well, now I can retire. It would be cool to see a demo, though, before you bought it. Like, um, it'd be cool if there was, like, a little demo area where you could, like, have a tractor hooked up to it and see all of the things that it did. So you could get an idea of it before you bought it. But, eh, after a year, everyone will know what every piece of equipment does in the vanilla game. And after that, everyone will start doing mods. Yeah, it's, it's, if you can load pallets onto a trailer, it's super satisfying, and that's why I wanted to do it. But I will say that this game is infinitely better than 19 and 17 and 15 in terms of loading stuff. Because, honestly, we would, just, we would always just do square bales. No, yeah, we would do square bales because square bales had the auto loader, and it was never worth your time to do anything else. But... We'll chalk that up to experience, and I think we'll go by the silver one now, and then we'll uh, we'll sue for maybe fifty thousand dollars in damages. Very good attorney. Okay, I needed to drive all aggressive to get my anger out. All right, let's go back into realism mode. <sighs> okay, realism mode. Now we're back, back into realism. You guys, you guys feel the realism? No. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? The realism? You know what I could do is start with this standard trailer, and then if we want to upgrade, we can bring it to the, uh, the little shop. Yeah, I would go with square, but when we when we started, we had only the round baler, so the only reason we're doing round is because that's kind of what we started with. And when you start, you're broke. And that's... Half the fun is not having any money at all. Oh, it's so fun. Alright. We'll fix our mess. I promise. Okay. Now, back to happy smiles time. They're going to roll off the trailer, not if we use straps. Nice and calm driving. Happy. Everyone's happy. Everything's going well. I can hear you breathing. Yeah, Shrek, I can hear it. Chat, thanks for 600 likes. Thanks for 600 likes. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the Erling Grot map. It's the Swiss map. It's actually fun. I, I really like this. But I will say that trailers are still a pain in the ass, but nowhere near what they used to be, and so I'm, a I'm quite delighted. If you've ever played with the old game before, you'll know this is a absolute leap in the right direction. Yeah, this map's beautiful. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Just some simple straps is all I wanted. Oh, you want to see a photo mode in Farming Simulator? That would be cool. They should do that. I see a lot of beautiful photos and stuff in this game. It'd be nice to see. You hear this music playing right now? It's the 
It's the boss battle music of loading a bale trailer in Farming Sim 22. It's one of the hardest. It's like, like, it's like Dark Souls final boss, like final, final, final boss, like the big, 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 big boss, like Satan's boss. No, Satan's insurance agent. Even worse. I know. I can't imagine his deductible. Now, Satan, hell, hell's not really up to code right now. There's a lot of fire and open pits. If the HOA finds out about this, oh, hell. Yes. Don't you let me get a starter on OSHA. Oh, God, OSHA's going to have... I don't know why he sounds like former... <laughs> Satan sounds like former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura for some reason, but, you know... That's just how it is. He works part time in, in hell. How is our grass doing? It's fermenting like a charm. Chat, we're going to fix everything. Everything's going to be nice and happy. You're going to love it. Hey, this is going to make us a lot of money, though. This might seem, like, tedious, like, boring, but... Dude, think each one of these bales is, like, what, $2,000 each or something? Or whatever they're going to be? Actually, probably more. I don't know. They'll be expensive. And it's going to be important. How's that contract going, Shrike? It's going good. Good. I'm at 55%. Nice. Chad, did you notice how my straps sounded like... Yeah, that's how they sounded. We're getting it done, baby. Yep, should have went with this at the start, but now we know. So we don't talk about the red trail anymore, Chad, okay? We don't talk about it, we don't acknowledge its existence, the color red is... Um, merely an idea. What red trailer? Is that the new modded trailer? Uh, well, it's a new trailer. I mean, it's our first trailer that we ever purchased. Ever. I didn't know there were trailers in the game. I didn't even know there were movie trailers until today. Chat told me. Wow. I've been missing out.
Okay. It must be perfect. This YouTuber sucks. Mom, where's my hot pocket? It'll be a lot easier to load it once I grab from the bales that are already pre-stacked. <laughs> yeah, thank God we're moving these now and not later. Yeah, it's just messy because these are ones that fell off the old trailer. I mean, what? What old trailer? Exactly. Each time we load this, it'll get better.
It'll be easier next time because with these ones over here, these ones are already stacked in triples. So all I got to do is pick them up in threes and then we can put them on the trailer. This is just kind of a little mess cleanup. So this is just mess mitigation. The good news is, though, is that we can sell them directly from the trailer. So the last trailer load that we bring over, we won't have to offload. We can just keep it at the uh, at the site. Oh yeah, isn't there a isn't there an attachment for the log loader to also load bales? Trike, isn't there a log loader that loads bales too? Like has a little crane. That's actually kind of a cool thing. Which, what's the name of that chat, that, that log loader that also, like, can... I think you can get a different um, trailer bed for it where it doesn't just haul logs. You can modify it to haul bales, too, which is pretty cool. Oops. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I've seen it. Yeah, you can buy a different uh, trailer bed for it. Pretty sure. Was that in previous games as well? Yeah, I remember seeing that, but we never used it because it hauls only the... Oh, it's called the Anderson? Okay. That's got a pretty good grapple on it, from what I recall. There we go. Yeah, we're just cleaning up a previous mess from a different... Uh... Well, we had them... Uh... Like, all jokes aside, our, our previous trailer was... It was working nice, but then it kind of like... When I couldn't strap it down, it all, it all kind of went to... My whole plan <laughs> revolved around being able to strap it down. So when, when I couldn't strap it down, everything went everywhere. Unfortunately, so... It's all good, though. What trailer am I talking about? Uh, well... This trailer here. Oh, I thought it could be. Isn't there a trailer that can be customized to hold? There's one that can be customized for bales. What the hell? Maybe it's in. I don't know. I remember there was a trailer that you could actually haul bales with and like pick them up with the claw. I'm pretty sure. Unless it doubles. All right. Well, despite this being gross, the next time we load these boys, just just pretend it's all pretty in your mind. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's not in Farm Sim 22? Oh, darn. The way that we auto-loaded it and did stuff earlier today, though, was pretty damn genius. So now we're just... We're st like, we're still in part two of the silage run, which is getting all the silage to the uh, to the market now. Anyway, thanks for sticking with the whole stream chat, and thanks for not bailing. That's nice. Was the pun intended? There? Yes, it was. Are there collectibles in the Swiss map chat? If so, I want to go look for those collectibles so we can make some extra cash. We had it in the first map, and it's like it would be really helpful in the second map. In the French map and the uh, Swiss map, too. 
It's basically free money. What do they do? Collectibles? Yeah, on the first map there's like little toys, farm toys that you can find, and then if you collect them you get money for it. There's collectibles in all three maps? Oh, okay. If we start finding collectibles, you get like a thousand per collectible, and if you find an entire set of like, you know, like tractors or... If you find all the collectibles, they give you a hundred thousand per. Oh, there's not as many in this map? Okay. Yeah, the America map, you can like make 1.5 million if you find them all, so it's pretty significant to like actually go look for them. Oh no, all my oh man, oh darn. Must have been really windy today. Blew all my perfectly stacked bales. Oh ah oh, ah. Oh. oh they were so perfect and ah oh, ah. Oh. oh you get fifty thousand per collectible on the French map? Wow, okay. Well then me and Shrike better find the collectibles on this map. This map's got, like, a lot of, like, stuff you would never go to. Like, a, there's, like, a ski lodge and stuff. And, like, as a farmer, there's no reason to go up there because there's nothing to drop off, no nothing to pick up. Seems a bit cheaty. Well, consider it a government subsidy. Like, you take out your first loan of, like, a million and a half dollar or $500,000, and then you just pay it off. Oh, you've made a mess. Oh, this map has pieces of cheese to find. That's okay. You know, I, honestly, I did my best. I, I had a plan, and the trailer didn't cooperate. So I'm hoping in the future that if they do more trailers, that they allow you to strap stuff down on every single one of them. Because my plan was going to work beautifully, but now we're making do. But next time I'm going to store all of these here and they're going to... Actually, you know what I could do is bring them down here in the next... Instead of storing them at my farm, I'll just bring them down here to store them. Why are these sticking on there so good now? Here, I'll hold it while you go back. Oh, thanks, Shrike. That was helpful. You're welcome. I'm out of contracts. <sighs> um, I'm out of ideas. Well, what else we could do other than skipping today after we're done with the offload? Whoa! He's rolling for me. Shrike, now you're too young. Uh, the trailer doesn't lift up, no. It's just a flat trailer. Alright, next time, we'll do it better. How many are there, Shrike? You want to do a count? On the ground? Yeah. And then just add one to it. Twenty-two in total. Twenty-two? Yes. And what's the weight of each of those bales? If you look at it, what does it say for KG? Like 3,500? 620. 620? Liters? No. Or KG? Okay. KG. I'm going home. And we're not going to speak of this ever again. <laughs>
Well, that's 22 so far, but we have more up at the up at the farm. I can't ride on the trailer. No. You know how it is in this game. This trailer looks cool, though. I like this trailer a lot. Yeah, it's it's a pretty nice trailer. Very shiny. True. No, no. I have a new name for you. What is my name? It's now Schrodent. Is that supposed to correlate with Rodent? Yes. <laughs> In which you are a little one. Look, I'm just getting my exercise in, alright? Chet's telling us to go to the south side of the church. What's the, is there cheese? There could be. American? What kind? <laughs> We're talking about some, like, Swiss cheddar? Well, I would assume it's Swiss, yeah. Yeah, dirty, bl dirty blonde Schroden. <laughs> some dirty blonde cheese. Ah. Hmm. <sighs> No, now now the loading process will be very easy because now I <laughs> I have them pre-stacked to load onto the trailer, so now everything will be okay. What? I didn't realize you could see me in your mirror. Yeah, it's Everyone. like watching Terminator 2. <laughs> I still have to make that edit from this cutscene. Uh, wait, what is it? Oh, about me telling this, you to... Uh, uh, farm yeah, some setup? Just, yeah, just running at me. I'm in the car and you're chasing me. I forgot about that. Ooh, that trailer is not going to cooperate. Need a little wider turn on that one, but I got to get close to the concrete. What? <laughs> yeah, that would be so loud right now. Is that your point, though? So when you load them, you can use concrete as a backer? Yeah. That's smart. All right, let's go to the church. Mostly for Pinto Blast, because we need to cleanse ourselves of that devil. The devil. <laughs> All right, let's fast travel to the church to see if we can find some cheese. If we find cheese, we get money. That's cool. It's part of the game mechanic. Where's the church? So. Uh, in town, the pointy building, which looks like for Jesus. Oh, very pointy. How are you running so fast? Yeah, this is the Sir, front of the Did church? you take the cheese? You tell me you ran around for nothing? Chat saying to check the bench. Well, all right. The bench, huh? Oh, I see. Oh, so geez. that's what we're looking for. So if you press R on that. Get real close to it. Okay. Ooh. Found a wedge of cheese. There are 11 more. 10 grand. Okay, yeah, we need that. Let's go find the other 10. Or 11 more, I mean. Yeah, we can walk around town and find more. Okay, that's really helpful. So, that's a hidden... Those are really hard to find, though. No wonder they're worth more. So, if we find the cheese... Th this map is definitely all about the dairy. Well, this is good, then. Yeah, it pays ten thousand. Well, that's that's some damn good money. Chat saying there's one at the castle. Okay. Hey, I found one on the swing. Good job. Chat.
Yeah, it says one's at the castle. Is Shrike putting the cheese in his dirty blonde pocket? Yeah, he is. Oh, I found one. Nine more. Ground cheese? Okay. Uh, there's gotta be one of... Okay, the castle. That's it right up there, I think. The chateau? Oh, there's baguettes on the boat in the French map? Oh, cool. See if there's any at the train station. It's gotta be one at the train station. This will get us money, boys. Don't tell Alex about it. Dude, if I tell him about that, he'll start playing this game more. Ooh, I found one. Oh, these are familiar. Yeah, they do. Ha I think they have these in Switzerland and Austria. Apartment buildings that look like this. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go up there. See if we can find some more cheese. Right, this is a little de-stressor from all the uh, loading we had to do earlier. Oh, well, thank you, AB, for being here. Found another. Good work. I'm going to the castle, so <laughs> I had to like spawn in a really weird area. How many is that? How many did it say now? Seven? Eight? Ooh, I didn't look. Some was around there. Less than eight. I'll find one here in a minute. I'm sure this cafe has one. Yep. Uh, there are six more. This is important. There's good stuff out here. Subsidy money. you take fall damage? No, not in this game. Okay. Well, we're down like five or six more. There's gotta be one down like at the... Do oh, I bet the docks has one. Check the docks. 
Bum, bum. On this line I just passed, was there one back there? Okay, I'll, I'll jump back there in a minute. Welcome aboard to all the new members. Thanks for subbing, guys. Thank you very much for 700 likes on the dairy farm. Appreciate all the support. Starting to remind me of teardown now. Relax. Hmm. Yeah, you can teleport. All you got to do is just click on a location on the map, like a blue diamond, and then hit. Uh, well, on keyboard it says spacebar, but there's a travel button at the bottom. I mean, you can already fast travel between vehicles, so. Come on, there's got to be a piece of cheese out here somewhere. Oh, come on, man. Not a single piece of cheese? Bruh. It's got to be on a boat. There's got to be one here, I'm sure. Got to be one. Nope, 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 nope. Damn it. I can't jump one in the water. I get to see through the boat, though. Okay, somebody said there was one on the slide. Alright, I'm gonna check the uh I'm going to check the um, slide, and then if nothing's there, then I'm going to go back to farming. FS stands for Fromage Simulator. Went a little scavenger hunt for hidden collectibles in the map. Finding each of them gives us about 10,000 bucks, so it's actually just as profitable as <laughs> selling silage and such. Which we're going to finish up uh, pretty soon. We'll, we'll get that done shortly. I can't believe there wasn't like a pathway or something to get up there. Laysai. Strike, you find anything else? No, I'm looking. Where are you looking right now? I'm still in the city because that's where most of them have been. Yeah. Looking in every cracking crevice. Okay, there should be a slide around here. No, I don't see it on this slide. Unless there's another one. Mm, no, nope, I don't see anything else. Eh, there's got to be one in the corner of the map, too. There looks like there's locations in the corner. Maybe there'll be one at the mill? Got to be one sitting at the mill somewhere.
If there's not as many, they're probably in more obvious places, so they're probably sitting on benches and stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and say we're good on that one for a little while. I think we found, what, 5 of 10 or 5 of 6 of 12 or something? Whatever the number is. We definitely got a good amount. Amen, brother. Brother, amen. Hi, cows. 150 mil... Oh, 150 liters, 108 liters. Good. Yeah, there's one in the America map that's on the uh, store... Uh, sign. All right, let's see if we can load this a little bit better this time, chat. The redemption arc. Here it comes. Let's do it. Redemption arc. Raptors Farm Sim series is my favorite anime. I can't stop watching. This isn't even my final corn. <laughs> that was good chat, come on. Come on, chat. That was good. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. uh, when the tractor is going to go super saiyan? No, it goes super silage. We found another. Nice. $10,000. Woo! Where'd you find it? On a swing. At a random house and on a random road. Very descriptive. What's up, Landon? How you doing, dude? We gotta get these loaded up in time for December. It's critical. Mission critical content. No, it's not! It's new and never before seen. F you, music guy. Keck W. Absolute perfection. Godlike. We're going to keep some of that silage on the left for the cows, so we're pretty much almost done. Once that trailer's full, I think we'll we'll reassess later.
Oh, see, this is what I was trying to do before, chat. See, <sighs> would have all gone according to plan too if it weren't for those meddling kids. That's all I wanted to do, and now I got it. Redemption arc redeemed. To redemption. Round Bail Redemption 2 from Rockstar Games. Damn it, chat, we're getting it. This is exactly how I wanted it. Oh, man. Pog lad. Another collectible shrike with another find. 10,000. Where'd you find it? This one was, uh. It's, uh. Let me look. So, where you were by the dock, uh, just at the little train station. Oh, nice. Where, uh, your little, uh, snowballs are everywhere. It's right, right, right what? by that. That's what I wanted, Chet. Would you like me to strap some of these for you? Or are they already strapped for you? Um, all the ones I wanted strapped are good now. I, I don't see them strapped, but I just... Oh, really? Them and they're strapped for you. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, you should be able to do manual strapping though without being in a vehicle. What can you do in the meantime, Shrike? I'm not sure. I guess all we got to do is pass the month, but... Well, we do have 229,000 because of you looking around for stuff, so... I think we could try to put down a windmill at some point, but... Honestly, this... I mean... Doing all the mowing and all the silage and all the stacking and stuff is exactly... I mean, this is what we were getting into. I knew it, so. Shrike and hand mow? Well, that's true, but then we'd have to do, like... We'd have to still get out the... Bale trailer or whatever. Not the bale trailer, but the forge wagon. Eh, the boy's fine. He's probably hungry anyway, IRL. 
Well, I'm going to. Why is my camera constantly going left? Oh. Your Xbox controller? Oh, did you figure that out, by the way? Did you fix your your wheels? Yeah, I fixed it. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was my controller. It's still doing it. A decent medium trailer, uh, tractor? Um. Well, yeah, there's some really good decent medium tractors. This small tractor is great, though. This is perfect for loading. Like, if I ever get another tractor for loading, this with a weight is just really good. Because you can work into a lot of small spaces, too, and so it makes it easy to handle the cargo, too. Now this is much better, isn't it, Chad? Much better. If only I could have gotten that other trailer with straps and if it didn't do the thing from the side. But that's a good trailer for square bales, though, so now we know that. Square bales will fit on there nicely. I think I might be able to fit one more. Hey, Shrike. Yes, sir. I'm going to throw another set of uh, bales onto this trailer at the ass end, and I'm going to need you to strap it down once uh, they pop on. Okay. And, Chad, I think we'll keep the rest of this silage for... We'll keep this silage for when we make t uh, TMR, and what we can do is... We'll take this TMR... Or we'll take this silage and we'll keep it for TMR, and if we need more, or any other silage that we make from here on out, we'll go towards sale. So we'll keep that silage there for us. Everything else is going to be for money, profit. Two on the end going the other way. Oh... That might be a good idea. Uh, we could do it like this, right? What do you think? Like this? Yeah, that'll fit. Oh, damn. There you go. Now this will allow us to get one. One will one will do. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Alright, strap that one. Thank you. Is there one more strap at the end? Or no? There is. Uh no, not there's okay. two on what we just put. Let's just call that there. good. Let's just call that good. Alright, so I'll just keep uh I'll keep all these extras for us then. So we have uh let me just do some quick numbers here. So we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, three. Hmm. So twenty-three, and then the hay bales. Now we have tw like twenty-four grass, which we'll use more of because of the. Um, Wait, where did I put hay bales? Oh yeah, hay bales are over here, but only cows eat those, and that's 24, I think, too. Pretty sure that's 24 there, so... 23 busts? Don't you start with that damn blackjack game from the other day, Chad. Don't you start with that. I'll have Strike... Uh, do what he does. I don't know. Strike, if you were to have, like, a move, what would it be? The the Shrike Shram Shambler. He'll do the Shrike Shambler on you. It's where he... Uh, what does that consist of? You like... I don't know. I'm yeah. thinking more like a little karate twist. You know? 
Well, you don't weigh very much, so it's not like you can drop from the, the top belt or something like that. <laughs> Alright, thank God. Okay, so here's what we'll do. So that trailer can sit there until December. When December rolls around, we can go down to the animal trader and drop off that trailer and then bring all the other stuff over with like, uh, like a telehandler or something. Actually, one's on sale. But we don't need to. This is fine. Mother f <laughs> That goddamn trailer. <laughs> okay, anyway. <coughs> Sorry. Allergic reaction to that trailer. Alright, um... I like that trailer, though. Don't get me wrong. That trailer is actually good with the... If you can get the setup with the... With the, uh, um... Like, there's, like, four little panels hey, that'll drop down. It's good. Oh, sure. I'll bring that dirty tractor back into my garage. Yeah, you can drive it. You earned it, champ. Okay. So let's see. Okay, we can take up we can pay off more of our loan, I suppose. Maybe we should do that. Cause from here on out I think we're only going to try to make money. So our loan now is back down to two twenty five, which is actually not bad. Less than half of the max loan. And then contracts, sewing field. There's a $4,500 one. Field 11 with wheat. Oh, that's a big boy. Eh. Eh. Uh, welcome again to all the new subs. The, the Deep Shrike. Yeah. Oh, everybody's trying to do cheese moves with you now because you're the cheese whiz. <laughs> oh, no. That'll be your move now, the cheese whiz. Got the cheese touch. <laughs> the cheddar cheese touch. <laughs> the CCT. I'm thinking more like like jalapeno cheddar cheese, not no... Uh, Pepper Jack. Uh, yeah. I'll add a little spice. Wow, that seems nice. <laughs> Schroden with the cheese. All right, we'll decorate a little bit later and make it look nice. So any other way we can make money? We've got milk coming in. That's good. We got almost another... And the health of the cows is improving over here because they got food. So we've got almost another couple hundred liters ready to go. Almost 500. Shrike, we can hear you breathing. Thank you. I can kill you. <laughs> so when I get, like, really, like... Focused, I like lean in <laughs> and I put my nose on top of my mic because yeah. I'm looking at my monitor and I don't realize it. All right, the spinnery gives us 1400. Oh man, we're gonna have to buy that spinnery. The spinnery, dude, when you make fabric in this game, Shrike, just buying the spinnery and taking the, the wool and putting it to the like turning wool into fabric gives and, and then selling the fabric makes so much money. But remember, in this game, not everything's immediate. So if you bring over 10 billion, uh, you know, tons of wool, it still takes time. Yeah. So, how much is milk? Milk is um, 2,213 at the uh, cheese factory. But the highest time to sell milk is in October, which is next month. So the price will go up one more time. So I'm actually going to grab that tractor and uh, grab the... Grab the milk thingy. Can you buy cows already grown up so they produce right away? Yes. It's a lot more expensive to do that. The, ch the cheap way to do it is to, you know, buy them as babies and then l grow them. Like, buy half, half of a barn full of cows, uh, wait for them to grow up, then buy some bulls so that way they'll breed and then get the rest of the, um, the cow population up. So that way you'll have one wave of adult cows, then you'll have a wave of uh, calves that then grow up, and then you can basically keep keep taking turns. Wait, I don't want water. I want that other thing. 
Milk is two percent. Uh, I don't even. I don't even know if you can modify the milk at all. I think milk is just milk. And then when you bring it to the dairy, when you bring it to the dairy, they just turn it into cheese. Or you can sell it directly, but it's not not as profitable. So I guess in that case, it'd be whole milk. But there's not a way to like. <coughs> sorry, there's not a way to pasteurize or anything like that. Ooh, chat, we're close to our member goal giveaway. If you guys haven't smashed join, now's a good time to become a member. Amen, brother. And let's see if chat can get to 675 likes before I fill this up with milk. Come in with the milk. We're not making a lot of milk, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Boy, Shrek, we got like not much for you to do at the moment, do we? Well, that's why mm -hmm. I said that this 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 is definitely a good job for like two people, at the very most. Wait, I gotta back that tra Oh god, I'll never be able to back this trailer in hell no. God. Uh oh. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, here, here. I'll give you. I'll give you a push. Oh God. I think you done did her good. Oh, oh. There we go. I think I picked up all the rest of the milk anyway. I think it auto fills without hitting a button. Uh, are you sending me cow pictures? Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one. You're funny, Shrobe. It's one hell of a fence, yeah. Ow. Didn't you have so, like a backup beeper on that thing or something? Not on this one. Yeah, Farm Sim 22 does have uh, in-game chat. Yeah, like VoIP. Wow, these articulated trailers are a nightmare when you're in tight spaces like this. I can maybe back this up a little bit, maybe. Oh god. That'll buff out. Are you having trouble? Yeah. I'm just restless because I'm stressless from the bailing loading earlier. Alright, we got it. That's right, so long as those bales are there, that's okay. I'll just leave this trailer here. Out in the hot sun. <laughs> Let me leave this trailer of milk out in the hot sun. Exposed to the uh, elements. That'll be fine. Oh, that's great. There we go. Perfect. Alright, Strobe, I don't think we have anything else we can do. So let's skip this month. Time. I guess we'll just skip this month now. You can do some more contracts and we'll... Uh... What happened to our money? Oh, I paid it all back for our loan that we took out. Because oh. from here on out, we'll be making our own pure profits. Alright, you ready? Sure. Let's do a little slipping. I'm stuck on a pole. I'm stuck on the sidewalk. Yeah, that happens to a lot of young people your way. A lot of people Listen get through college that way. <laughs> what? Nothing.
Have we tried playing around with the production chain? Yep. Yep, we did that in some of our other maps. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so now it's October, so this is, ooh, 1,500 liters of milk. Nice. And these guys, all right, these guys are at 1,700. All right, Shrike, grab that red trailer and see if you can fill up with milk. You have to fill up with milk uh, by parking the trailer here, where it shows an arrow pointing down. And it mm -hmm. just auto-fills. And then we got to go sell them bales. Oh yeah, I certainly do like this game. I've been loving it. McDonald's, ba da ba ba ba. Yeah, that's true. Some production chains you can. That's articulated, boy. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> it's particularly hard to use the articulated trailer. It's not the trailer. It's this tractor. Ma'am, let's get up. It's not a half day. Let's go. Helmet's not a chair. Let's wake it up, people. Let's get that milk going. Let's go. 8 a.m. We're at work now. Let's come on. Let's move it. Move it, people. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get corporate on the horn. Oh, what sells the best? Probably cheese. Bro, just drive straight in. Are you trying to master backing up an articulated? <laughs> With this dual steering tractor, I don't like this. I know. You'll get used to it. Now just cut cut right. Oh god! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, it's fine. It's his first day. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not that mad. Not like what? Yeah, no, you filled it all. That was all? That's it? Yeah, it's like only 1,700 liters. We don't have that many cows. There's some more over here, though. Yes, eggs are very good money makers. Here, I'll push this back. Wow. The boy did a good job. All right. All right, so it's milk. Okay, so let's see what milk is. Uh, PC specs, check down below in the description, my friend. All right, Shrike, so we're going to want to sell milk at the... Uh, the cheese factory. It's called, like, Casserai... K A S E R E I. You know where that is? Yeah. All right, so just bring that milk to the cheese place. It's the cheesiest pog. We could also save milk for a while, but we need every damn penny we can get. Now, the other thing we got to do is sell silage in December. So, silage is probably ready to. January. January is when we sell it. Wait, real? Yep. Uh, you know you can switch the steering on that tra uh, tractor? Yes. I think you hold control Y or something, right? A lot of vehicles have their own uh, operating mode. It is control Y. Oh, thank you. This is the final boss music chat for uh, loading silage. Uh, I can see, see younger audience. That was called 8-bit music.
Alright, are we actually making, uh... Excuse me, sir. Are we making, uh... I gotta check the animal. Oh, nice. Wait, what? Oh, no. Okay, so what do I do here? Um... Oh, I found it. Um, I got you. Oh, I can hear something. Oh, man. Twelve grand? Ah, well, that was right. worth it. But also, keep in mind, that's you finding, like, one collectible. Yes, one cheese. Yes, one cheese was basically the pretty similar equivalent Two of that. Two months worth. Of but eventually we'll run out of that cheese. The, gov the government cheese will run up, run out, and then we'll, we'll have to actually do some big old work, which is fine. Manual labor. I know. Uh, I, I know. I'm going to keep repaying our loan, though. I know it hurts, but... What do we have left? Eight hundred dollars. We have enough to go to Wendy's with everybody. Wendy's emote wall, yeah. But we'll be making now, it. Did you completely pay off the loan? Uh, we have about two hundred thousand left. Oh, Raptor! What? You bring me into this debt economy? Look, the good news is silage is up next in January, and it's going to make so much frickin' <laughs> money. It's going to be ridiculous. Look, I've been preparing this game the whole time. Honestly, we could have... Wait, did the grass grow back yet? If the grass grew back, we can do mowing again. Holy mo... mo... moly. Oh, the grass is back, I think. Oh, it's 50%. Wait. Oh, needs time. It says it needs time. Soon, my precious. Soon. It needs time. Well, I think I can mow it like this, honestly. That's ready to harvest. Really? For me, it says growth, ready to harvest. Growth. For me, it says grass type, ready to harvest. Yeah, but it says at the bottom. It needs lime. That's oh. lime. Oh, I thought it said time. <laughs> it's not a tea. All right. It's lime. My bad. All right. <laughs> so actually, if we start, if we do start dumping manure out here, that'll probably make it more fertilized and thus make it make a higher yield. But I ain't dumping lime out on a grass field. You put the lime in the coconut, not in the grass field. And you drink it all up. That's right. Yeah, I'm not dumping all that there. Well, luckily we don't have any weeds in our grass field. That's good. Um, so the good news is if, if we started lawn mowing again in October, we would have two months to make silage again. October, November, December, well, January. So... Boy, we're gonna need to we need to get a lawnmower again. We're gonna need to find more uh, more cheese. All right, so our goal then would should be to like mow and windrow and make silage again and hopefully make more money through that. You have a windrower? Nope, we'll have to rent a, a windrower and a bigger mower. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. Oh, it's going to be fun. All right, well, we can use this. No, oh, no, I need to rent a bigger tractor. We don't have money for the... Wait, 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 wait. Contracts, contracts, contracts. Um, what do we got? Oh, we have them now. Okay. Bailing. Oh, oh triple, triple fertilizer. Do it. Ooh. <gasps> okay. That's what we're going to do. Bailing on field 15. Okay. Yep. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Ba bailing a field 1, bailing a field 24. We're going to do uh, all the fertilization jobs. I hate I hate that we can't do the harvesting. It's it's glitched, but... Oh, dude, we're going to walk out of here with a ton of money. No, field 1's small. Let's go. Borrow items. Yeah, borrow items on that one. Don't borrow it on the other one, though. On which one? The uh, second contract. Because we can use the equipment for bailing yeah, yeah, one yeah. on bailing two. 
Are they the same equipment? Oh, uh, well, wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. One says, uh, mow the grass, then use a tether to bale it. Okay, so they want us to... They're basically oh, asking us to the, make hay. Okay, yeah. So, all right, so then accept that See, contract. I should, don't, but then don't I should borrow. have accepted... I should have borrowed from the sec... Oh, never mind. It's huge... Qu oh. Yeah. Okay. I take that back. So accept on the second one that remains. Yeah. Okay. And then we can use all this equipment. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Do it one time. There we go. Okay, so now from that... So then after this, we'll probably make close... Damn near close to $30,000. Then after that, we can do the fertilization contract, which is another, like, 15000 So that's good. And then we can try this harvest... Uh, harvesting still glitched. I wish they would let us do it. What is this trailer right here? Uh, which one? Uh, that's a tether. Oh, that that's a baler. This is a baler here. No, 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 this one. That's a tether. What does that do? Oh, no, that's a... Uh, this is a tether. This is for making hay. This is a windrower for making those rows. And this is a baler, and then this is an auto stacker. So we're going to be making square bales. So what are we... <laughs> so you mow it, and then what? What's well, the first you gotta mow, then you gotta, then you gotta ted. It's it's left to right, mow, ted, windrow, bale, and then stack. So start with the start with the big old mower and drive it over there. Drive it to field. What is it? One. Yeah, one's the first one. Yeah, so drive up there. Did you drive the... Are you driving the mower there? I am. Okay. Then I'll bring over the tether. Oh, baby. We're going to make so much money, Shrike. We're going to make so much money, my man. This is going to be good. Okay, well that means we can just keep working to pay off the rest of our loan. And with that done, then we can actually make full money from silage. That could be like $100,000, man. Then we can buy you a decent tractor. Hooray! For your obviously mandated, mandatory participation in further content creation. Wow. Wow! So that way we can... Oh, I should have called it... We should have called our company Milk Every Last Drop. Damn. <laughs> I like that one. Milk too. it milk it till you make it. Safety. There we go. So now we're safe. Bum, bum. Yeah, we gotta wait. Oh my god, Shrike, you nearly got killed. By a Oh, I didn't even see it. Wow.
Wait. No, you're fine. You're fine. Yo, I can fly through it. Uh oh. Unlimited power chat. Unlimited power. Unlimited breadsticks from Olive Garden. What the hell is this daycare music? Well, I guess we strike. Hey, now. Nap time, chat. Nap time. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> 700 likes. Thank you, chat, for the support. want to stop I, I didn't want to do a lot of things that's going on right now <laughs> there we go at least this job's really easy yeah at least this thing can actually drive at a decent rate of speed while moving How is this music, man? Reef Lee, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Ultimate member. Woo! Thank you very much for that support, bro. That's 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 some safety. That's very safe. Thank you very much. Woo! Big O crazy support. Thank you for clicking the tab and joining and becoming a member.
How far is 24? Wow, you're already done? Yes. Cross the map. Sweet. I guess we'll mow and then we'll uh, windrow. Stop once you... Are you at that field yet? Oh, no, I just thought... Oh, okay. Yeah, just stop once you get there. Okay. Are oh, you there? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, okay, I was going to stop. Oh, you got there? Yes. Okay, are you, so you're there. I am. Are you really? No. Okay, how about now? Not quite. All right, are you traveling towards the next destination? I am. Is the distance between where you were when I asked you about that shorter than what it is now? This is between me and the destination. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of it, Shrike. Yes, I am driving to the other field. <sighs> I, do I like guacamole? Is, isn't guacamole made with avocado? It is. What else goes into guacamole? Is it like... Avocado. Yeah, but what else? Sour cream? Avocado. Yeah. Wait, is it just avocado? Avo wait, wait, <laughs> wait, is wait, is guacamole just like crushed avocado? Pretty much. I mean, you can add like some tomatoes and some, you know, some little extras, but yeah, it's pretty much. Oh, look at chat come alive now. Oh. Butter? What? All because guacamole. Wait what? <laughs> Wait, what? Salt, cream, and spice. Salt. Lime juice, salt, and pepper. Yeah, I knew it wasn't just like... Cru well, I suppose you could make it really healthy, but it's probably not going to be very um, easy to get on a chip that way. I like when it's crushed, not like cream, because then you get those little bits, and they're, they're fun. Avocado is really fun to chew. It's like when you get a nice soft, like... Uh, like when you eat a baked I've potato. I've never heard someone call something fun to chew. No? No. That's interesting. You enjoy chewing avocado? I mean, it's a nice texture, isn't it? A pleasant texture. I don't I don't like avocado. What? What, do you like guacamole? What? No. Of course not. Yeah, but there's people who like ketchup, but they might hate tomatoes, right? That's not unheard of. Well, I like s spaghetti, but they, I mean, it's the same thing, though. It just all depends what it's mixed with. I bet I don't like guacamole at all. Okay. So, like, do I need to call, like, CPS or something, or what? I think you should. Well, you're 18. I need to get you out of that house and into a foster home. Yeah. <laughs> the guacamole family. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Welcome home, son. My name's uh, Lester Guacamole. This is my wife, Barbara. We come up from a long line of guacamoles and avocados. Well, that was that was her. That's her. <laughs> that's her maiden name. <laughs> <laughs> this is our son, uh, Zesty. <laughs> Lime. Lime and uh, spice and sour cream. He's adopted. We're proud of him just as much as we are our other children because we do not judge. Is that understood, son? We got our dog Onion. Uh, that's right. He's he's our, he's our he's there's a lot of layers to him. Sometimes he's lazy, other times he's playful. <laughs> he's very <laughs> unique. No other dog like him. <laughs> <laughs> Now, son, this is your this is your room. This is the avocado suites. Now, There's like avocados painted on the wall. It's now, like a green, dark green room. Oh yeah, son, can you guess what we're gonna have for breakfast tomorrow? Avocado toast. Avocado toast. That's right. Now, how do you like your toast? Uh, toasty. That's that's correct. Two out of two. <laughs> toasty. <laughs> yeah, this 
This is our other son, Chunky Avocado. Chunky, oh. He's on the baseball team. They're thinking about letting him play next year. <laughs> <laughs> Couple more bribes and they might let him in the dugout. Hey, where the hell's the other field you went to? Across the map, 24. Son of a... Okay. It's just one long road. Uh-huh. Isn't isn't it always, Shrek? Isn't that life? <laughs> hey, hey, man, <laughs> pretty, brother. Pretty, pretty much. Hey, sometimes hey, sometimes your avocado isn't even pitted when you when you're born, you know. <laughs> hey, some people some people have a thin peel. Other people have an extra thick peel. But hey, everybody, everybody's got a pit. You know what I mean, brother? <laughs> you know what I mean. I, personally, I like that, to cut into my avocado. I like to cut into my avocado with a machete. Take that pit out when you slice into it. N nice, clean divot. Some people's pit smell. Well, that, you're going to have to talk to your teacher <laughs> about that, son, when you take health class. <laughs> what, smelly pits? Okay. Life, <laughs> life is like a box of avocados. <laughs> You never know if any of them are going to be moldy. Uh, Abo Cavis. That's its technical scientific name. Whoa, that's, that was weird. Okay. I just drove next to a field and it just like exploded in white as if the guy just dumped lime all over it. Now, son, you put the lime and the coconut in this house. Now, I know other, well, uh, other well, families I, put, put the coconut and the lime, but in this house... There's no way. It should be lime in the avocado. We're not allowed to have coconuts in the avocado. Well, now, son, there, 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 there is not an avocado to be wasted. I mean, we're, we're crazy about avocados, but we're not insane, okay? We're not Slobodan Milosevic over here, okay? You know who that is, son? Oh, okay. That is probably the only time in the live stream that the name Slobodan Milosevic has been mentioned. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Now we have a now our uh, <laughs> Now my first son from my first wife uh well he grew up real quick and he became a, a priest at the uh, local church. Do you know what his name is, son? What's his name? Holy guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name. A, a, ble a blessed be the avocado. Lord, Lord, look over this. Blessed be. <laughs> Lord, the Lord, avocado. Lord, gu guideth thy hand when I'm cutting up this avocado because they can get real, real slippery real quick when you wash them. That that could be a quick trip to the emergency room. We don't have the extra money for that, son. That's going to be an amputation right there. I'm going to get out the lawnmower. A homemade. Yeah, homemade. That's, uh, uh, that's right. Hey, I, son, I, I got a lot of Halloween equipment around out in the out in the garden shed. I'll show you a quick amputation right there, son. Save you. Hey, we'll save $1,300 or your next amputation free. <laughs> or your next. <laughs> <laughs> or your next amputation is free. That's right. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Amen. Pinto bless. All right, guys, that's going to be it for uh, tonight's stream. I'm going to get out of here and grab something to eat and uh, debate making a video for you guys, but then decide probably not to, and then continue to play Farming Sim again tomorrow all day. <laughs> Who cares? It's like the end of the month. All right. You guys have been awesome. Shrike, thanks for tuning in. We'll come back and do some more contracts and stuff tomorrow, and it should be a good time. And uh, Shrike, if, you're, if and when you're here, we'll, we'll play some more, okay? We'll probably okay. do this again tomorrow, so... <sighs> all right we'll see you guys thank you very much uh, welcome to all the new members thanks for smashing join thanks for uh, smashing like on the way out thanks for subscribing we'll do some more giveaways in the discord apparently i should do giveaways earlier so tomorrow when i do my first stream i'll do a a double giveaway we'll do a double morning giveaway just right at the start so make sure you're there for people who are usually in a different time zone hopefully that works out for you so uh anyway uh shrike you want any avocado any avocado advice you want to say before we uh, uh Always, uh, uh, life's always greener on the other avocado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 life, 
always think past the pit. You gotta. All right. You, all right. We're gonna talk after the stream about we're your. Gonna tell, we're gonna have your, to your pit fetish. What is going on here with this? Like, I don't know. I think you want to do a destruction derby. Is that what you want to do? Like a pit? What do they call it? Oh, whatever. We'll talk. You are so grounded, young man.